All right, man. We are back. Of course, everyone's shocked. A lot, bunch of guests. We are back recording live. <laughs> this is a show about nothing. Podcast about nothing. Episode eighty six. We'll stop you here before we let everybody choose themselves. Like, comment, subscribe, share it, screenshot it, send it to somebody. Whatever you got to do. Go ahead. I'm gonna pass it to my left. What's happening? Um, what's happening? Episode eighty six, baby. Hey, make some noise. Yeah, make some noise. Here. Roby, I said make some noise. Right. Um, first off, fuck you, Stunner, for making me do this. Um, salute to my dog, though. Um, hey, man, it's a, it's been a great it's been a great day, long ass week. Uh, like it said, please subscribe, like, and comment. If you are wondering why we have seven niggas on one podcast, um, it's because we are finna do a fantasy draft. Now, before we get started, I'm going to introduce everybody because we share a microphone, so I don't want to look too unprofessional yet. Um, so, in the left corner where you can't see in the park seat, we got BTG. Yo. My brother. Um, right here my. in the empty seat, we have Ash, who will be here soon. Uh, my boy, Barry, right here. AJ, he been on the show. Y'all know what it is. AJ, Obviously, that's the greatest, the greatest co-host, the greatest host in the world-ish. Um, that's my dog, Nelson. He was on the show last week. This is a regular Mr. Thick uh, Chris. Yeah, hello. And, um, <laughs> 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 Big dog Roby. What a what a what a amazing cast. Uh, if you guys don't know, if you've ever heard me on Ish on the show, and we'd be like, yeah, in the chat we was talking about, in the chat we was talking about, these are the niggas in the chat. Um, we're pretending Nelson and Jalen are in there for the show. Um, but yeah. So first, before we get into the draft, we have to do the order of the draft. Now, me and Ish are gonna do rock paper scissors for the order of the first two picks because. We started the show, Start so the we yeah. gonna get the first two picks. Awesome. So you ready? Yeah. Shoot! Fuck. All right. So Ish has the first pick. But Ish, the rest of the rest of the order will be done with this <coughs> bowl where it has everybody's names in it, um, and Ash is automatically going last because he's late. So if you pull his name, it doesn't matter. All right, man. Let's, let's see. Let's and see. number three. Come on, I knew it was me. <laughs> it's it. Negro. Yes, sir. Big roll, all right. And number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. This is what the draft lottery feel like. <laughs> are y'all, are y'all nervous? Yeah, a little bit. What's it, Covington? Stand up. BTG number yes, four. Yes, sir. M O W B man. Um. So yeah. And I feel like, uh, who was that? Uh, Aaron Rodgers just <laughs> sitting in the draft room. <laughs> Speak of the devil, Covington Kyers, we back to back, Barry. Number five, turn me up. <laughs> yes, sir. Right on Salem Road, man. Yeah. Salem Road, Salem Road, 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 Jersey stand up. Let's get a clap for Nelson in Jersey. <laughs> shout out Joe Buddy. Shout, shout out Joe Buddy. Shout out Joe Buddy. Shout out Shout out Paulie. 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 Hey man. Shout out Snooki. We got a great That's show wild. for y'all. Just in case y'all do, are wondering, this is a real fantasy draft. We're just not actually drafting this second, but these are going to be our picks. And we'll keep you updated throughout the season on how it's going. I'm probably going to win because I got the second pick. But... <laughs> Before we get started, I got a question for the room. Also, leave punishment ideas down in the comments. Because we're trying to figure out our last place punishment. So, if you have a really gas one, you know, we'll no, reach out no to No, we're not. We're Something crazy. We're going to have niggas <laughs> be in that target during the day in the life. <laughs> right now, we have the Drew Walls day in the life vlog or the soft black man. TikTok, but we're open to ideas. Let's please see. think of something else. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> got the seventh pick. Please, 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 please think of something Save else. Us. I beg, bro. <laughs> okay, so the first question I have for the room is: If you were locked in a room with seventy-five random people, right. you don't know these people. It could be LeBron James. It could be a little person. It does not matter. Um, the only way to get out of the room is to be better than everyone in the room at one thing. Oh, yeah. What would be the thing you're choosing? The caveat is you have 30 days to master this thing. 
don't need 30 days. We get no. No, we don't need 30 days. <laughs> we get no matter, nigga. It says matter. I don't have an answer. It gotta be. I was like a seven niggas in here. I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it said everybody else gonna figure it out. Um, I think it has to be something like specific to you. Yeah. Cause like the odds of you being better than seventy five people in anything yeah. is super low. I know my shit. I mean, I'm a, I'm gonna pick a song and I'm gonna out rap you on the song. Like I'm gonna just memorize the song and I'll rap you on it. I'm gonna just name my family members <laughs> for real, for real, <laughs> like. <laughs> Doing knowing my, like knowing my family name better than people like it's so easy. You, you can look at me now, Chris Brown. I'll, I'll rap anybody in that room, bro. That's, that's how we come. I'm frying chicken. I'm sorry. I'm just. Baby, you cook. I'm that's a, a great answer. answer. That's a great answer. I'm gonna fry some chicken. Like, <laughs> your grandma, your auntie, your uncle. I'm frying chicken. Take a pull in the grill up. Exactly. Oh, Give me some peanut oil, some fire. We we going. We going. We going down. I'm already left handed. Jalen Brown can't dribble with his left hand. <laughs> so that's 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 what I'm gonna choose. Yes. I'm literally left handed. Oh, he's gonna lose. James Harden finna be in. We heard James Harden gonna be in. James Harden gonna be in. James Harden gonna be in. The fuck I have Dale in there. I got 30 days to learn some shit. 30 days. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna be a barber out there. 75 days. 30 days to 75 <laughs> people, 30 days to learn how to cut a hair. That's funny, though. That's a good one. I've seen people do it in less. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to get that body spray. Like, what's the shaking disease? You're going to be straight. <laughs> Bro, the shaking disease is crazy. Bro, crazy. <laughs> 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 That's what I'm saying. Like, hey, bro, what you want to do when Vic blends in on bro? I was going to say, listen. <laughs> I have a 75 yeah. people. No offense no to Vic blends. blends. Cause I'm hoping one day I run into him, I get the free haircut. <laughs> I've seen the videos; they know how that. <laughs> Yo, so I seriously, like bro, chance. you can get paid for paid with him. I've seen Vic Blends on the belt line, like multiple times. He's, he's, he's regularly the out there with his chair and his camera, just walking around. And I, if you walk up to him and give him a haircut, he can bring you fifty dollars. <laughs> like, oh, he got to come up to you. Yes, he has to come up to you. If you ask him, he's gonna charge you fifty. But he'll still cut your hair in the middle of the belt line if you're into that. So that ain't too bad. Fifty. Let's stop. Listen, I'm glad y'all said that. Let's stop right here. That's way. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Haircuts was not always fifty dollars. Yeah, you're right about that. First off, yeah, it's fifty dollars in ninety degree heat. We're in Atlanta. Come on now. And if it's fifty dollars, don't be asking me what I do for a living. What, what Bro, I shut the for. fuck up and shut cut the my fuck hair. Up and cut my hair. <laughs> if it's going to be fifty dollars, shut up and cut my hair. Y'all talk to y'all barbers when they cut your hair? No, yeah, every now and no. then. Barry no, Barry, no. Y'all talk to y'all barbers when y'all cut your hair. Oh, uh, it, it depends. He, he got to start the conversation. I'm not starting. It depends. Yeah, I was gonna say like, yeah, if he, if he start a conversation, but I ain't like one, one, one time, bro. Let me like, nah. One time we talked about uh, college football. Yeah. He said he was on that shit. His his friend was whooping his ass on that shit. And he was asking me for pointers. I was like, nigga, I don't know what to do. I, I also, like, 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 if I walk in the shop and niggas are talking, like, we talking hoopers, we talking like that, I'll talk once I get in the chair. But, like, if it's just a regular cut, like, fam, let's lock it. Like, gunny, I, don't got, I don't got extra time. It so also depends on what time I go in there. Too. Yeah, I'm finna say I go at 8. Yeah, like, <laughs> I I ain't, and I pull up the bro house, like, nah, I ain't talking, bro. <laughs> if I go get my haircuts, going in at 8 is not a thing. Can't, can't do that where I live at. So See, it's only like two places where I'm completely out of off my phone. It's the barbershop and when I'm hooping. I just can't, I just don't, I just be, I just want to be locked out. I don't want to think about that. I just want to get my hair cut and walk out. I don't like, if it's a good conversation, I'm going to talk about it. But some of the stuff they talk about it, it's just like, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, Shit without your phone is crazy, yo. <laughs> 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 crazy. My mom's going to cut at the crib. So it's like, um, yeah. it's just me, just me in there. Oh, and then, oh, like, man. they got like a TV playing like R&B classics. Like, they, like, they, they vibing. They smoking while they cutting me. Like, it's like. I don't, want, I don't want nobody talking to me while he was cutting my hair, bro. Oh. <laughs> this is crazy. I feel, like your, I feel like your barber got to be a little weird, though. You, yeah, if your barber got a little weird, you have a barbershop. The barbershop I used to go to in Kanye's had a picture of Kobe Bryant on the ceiling. I don't know why he didn't choose the wall, why he didn't choose anywhere else, but it's on the ceiling. With a quote. So you up there and you walk in the barbershop and you looking with your neck up for seven minutes trying to read a Kobe Bryant quote. And not only is it a Kobe Bryant poster, it's Muhammad Ali too. Oh, I don't wow. even know where he got the idea from. That's, that's really just black excellence conversation. Yeah. Nigga, why the hell this shit on your shit? That's hard. That's black excellence right there. So, um, but the my favorite part about the barbershop is you will hear 
the worst of the w- you've ever heard oh, ever in my life. Hey, and dog. This <laughs> nigga was in the barbershop the other day saying that Kyrie Irving was better than Michael Jordan. Oh, like, and God. he was dead serious. He was like, Mike couldn't do what Kyrie can do. Yeah. And I'm like, but like, what do you mean by that, sir? <laughs> and I don't know if Ish remembers this, but me and Ish were in the barbershop together about 10, 15 years ago. We was like, like seventh grade. It was a motherfucker in there, and he's probably not doing well right now. But he, he was, <laughs> God, he was in there saying Rex Grossman was better than Tom Brady. Oh, <laughs> Rex, Rex Grossman, like standing in the shit. He was like, he was like Tom Brady ain't Rex nothing. Yeah. Grossman. Rex Grossman better than yeah. Tom Brady. If he said Jay Cutler, I might rock him. Rex Grossman, no. shout out Jay Cutler. That's such a deep cut. That's a crazy deep cut. <laughs> but yeah. um Jay Cutler is doing cornhole right now on ESPN, by the way. Oh, is. <laughs> Yo, Salute. or crazy. ESPN 2 had, like, a beer competition. I said, what happened to us? Yeah, no. ESPN going crazy. All right. <laughs> before we get out of here, um, before we get started on the draft, Colorado? <laughs> Go Bucks, man. It's off my mind on today. I ain't worried about watching this. It's off my mind. Naked wrist, uh, Warren Sapp, Warren Sapp, you almost had us fooled. You was almost, <laughs> no, Warren Sapp, you was almost on the D, Warren Sapp. You was almost on the D. He Stealing football money got to be like the best job to have. Like, Man. Mm-hmm. Like not doing anything but being football rich. Like, the, you know, Kyle Allen's still in the NFL. I'm still playing quarterback. I swear what to God. Bengals, no, 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 the, the guy that took Cam Newton's job. Oh. <laughs> I think AJ McCarron got a job too. He does. Oh, he's like, someone. Yeah. He does. That's like the best job ever. Bro. He's someone. Like being yeah. not a starting quarterback. Like, you're a quarterback, but like not a starting. Not a starting quarterback. Hey, bro, just dog. Just for the practice. Yeah, like Josh Johnson, the Ravens backup, has been in the league for 14 years. No, but that that shit gotta be scary as hell when the day you gotta go in though. Shit, that shit <laughs> that gotta it gotta depends. Yeah, doing it depends on like, like it depends on how much you give a fuck. But it's, it's like, if, like, your goal is to continue to be a backup quarterback, then you in here like, all right, let's hope this goes bad. <laughs> right, yeah. you like, Ryan Fitzpatrick getting a try hard, then, yeah, that's probably Because really in my mind, perfect. if I was the backup quarterback, I wouldn't be prepared. I'm not going to lie. If I'm backing up a nigga like the Aaron Rodgers. Type shit. Tom okay, Brady's yeah, yeah. and shit. I'm I on the bench. Like, I ain't going to never get it. What you think Mahomes backup do on Saturday night? <laughs> like, 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 it depends what's sitting here. Yo, Chad, man, who is this back up? Chad, 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 Chad Henney was locked in. Chad Henney at the club. Chad Henney at the club on Saturday night, dog. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Carson Wentz probably Carson Wentz probably praying that he hurt, twist his ankle once. They play Atlanta week three. You think he not going out on Saturday? Carson Wentz, nah. You gotta be sick as fuck looking at Carson Wentz trying. And then your co- your the starting QB is just down I'm like hell no nah, he gotta get up. Who the fuck? Who the fuck going in for this thing? And it actually happened last night. Like UNC started coming. I think he like broke his foot or something. God damn. And like, can you imagine like the whole spring workout? You just you know what? Like no, you got to start for the yeah, rest I'm of the glad, season. Like, I'm you're not getting started. I had a bet on the receiver. Me I was too. in there crying. I was like, bro, please, please, bro. And like, they, they got the, they had like the best running back in the country. Like, yeah. his over was like ninety nine yards. I was like, I was like, they gonna run the ball. They run the, hey, what they do? Run the ball. Like, yeah, they got a, of course a black QB. So what he gonna do? Read option. Mm-hmm. Not gonna lie, he did the triple option and he threw that pass to that nigga for more than twenty yards. I damn near cried, bro. Your <laughs> yeah, I damn near cried. But if I'm the backup quarterback, they tell me to get off that bitch and go in. I'm probably fucking up that first job. I ain't gonna Is Travis Hunter winning the Heisman? No. No. Probably not. They gonna lose so many games. Yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, 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 I think so. After the first three games, it's gonna get spooky for them, bro. They're they're playing every ranked opponent in the Big Twelve, bro. Yeah, I, I want y'all to know, bro. Y'all y'all wrong about them, bro. I'm telling you. No, I want to be wrong. Eight like, hundred percent. I love if they Travis eight games. You win the Heisman. Eight. Cap. I think it's like LSU last year. Four nine. and eight. Nine. They won nine. They won nine. They won nine and three. But he didn't have a, like a crazy. But, year but now it's a sixteen team playoff too. Like no, 12, 12, 12. 12. But 12. that don't matter with because what he's doing, no one's ever done to this degree. Like people have played both ways before, but when people was playing both ways, Champ Bailey wasn't coming around with three tackles, a pass deflection, and hundred and eighty receiving yards and three touchdowns. Like yeah. this is ridiculous. So if he continues to play both ways every game mm-hmm. and he's playing ninety percent of the snaps, the only thing he's gonna have to do for me is get two pick sixes and have like six interceptions. If he got six interceptions and eight reception touchdowns and a thousand yards receiving, he's getting that high. What's the what's you say, what Carson Beck? Is that his name? You yeah, Carson Beck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it's either gonna be him or Jenkins. Because I think Chip Kelly, Chip Kelly just runs the ball so much at Fort Ohio State. Like he just spams the run so much 
that I could see one of their running backs winning. I'm not going to say him because I think they have too much talent <coughs> in Ohio State to put him on one person. That's they right. have a running back duel, and they got three yeah. really good receivers. So yeah. that's that's why I don't think it's going to be nobody from Ohio State. They just Their team is going to be so good. That's it's nice. not going to be one. Yeah. Yeah. And I think UG has too many like offensive options because, like, Bank, what is he about to throw for, like, 3,000 yards? That's really not winning you a Heisman in. Yeah. My sleeper might be the dude from Miami. Uh, the quarterback, I think his last name Ward, because yeah. ACC is really not that dominant this year. So maybe he can yeah. sleep. But yeah, I definitely can see Travis right, right. Social Door at one Heisman. I, right, I ain't seen, I mean, well, they not going to play till what, tomorrow? But uh, I like Gordon from Oklahoma State to possibly win. That's a good pick. Oh, that's a good pick. Yeah. That's a good pick. Um, all right. Y'all ready? We on the podcast, y'all got to talk. Yeah. That's what the nigga said. It's just universal right. code. Like, you know what's up? All right. <laughs> um, one minute on the clock. Uh, can somebody pull the phone up, please? Um, and be the timer pause. I got um, you, I got you, I got you. Where's the... <laughs> um, all right. Ish, you are officially on the clock. So what's vibes? Are we going to, like, just make the pick as soon? Or are we going to do it like the NFL? Like, we really take off for a minute? Yeah, talk for a minute. Talk about okay, what's, what's the clock? What's you, what's okay, also, are, we doing, are we doing, like, a fantasy? Uh, fantasy. Like fantasy. Uh, I think he said one minute. Yeah. One minute. So the timer's going to be one minute. Um, we're probably going to chop a little bit of that out just for a questions but uh so it's gonna be one minute you better make your pick talk about it uh the timer probably started now for me so having the first pick this fantasy draft is a little weird there's a lot of options you could go be on for sure in atlanta but that's a little iffy for me because you got kirk cousins you got kyle Pitts, you got drake london so he may not be like a, a 35 touches a game guy if you got you know you already split the backfield up so I really didn't, wasn't going to go there, but we'll talk about them a little later. My first pick. I know who you're picking. Who do you think? You do it, man. I'm picking CeeDee Lamb. Okay. Never mind. I'm picking CeeDee Lamb. Okay. Because what's going to happen in Dallas right now is they're not paying Dak, so everything going to CeeDee Lamb. I did not know. We're trying to make this job look as beautiful as possible. He already had 135 targets or catches. He's going to get more than that. He's going to get 150 catches this year. Minimum trying to carry this offense, and he is the face of the Cowboys now. It won't be Dak next year, so I think everything's going to CD Lamb. Okay, I like that pick. Uh, CD Lamb, pick. the first pick in the draft. Hey, man, that's a, that's a good one. All right, so my next number two pick, having a number two pick. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, you can start. Oh, no, um, having a number two pick in the draft. The I'm just, oh, you locked in. Okay. I got the next pick, so I need to know who you're thinking. Having a number two pick in the draft is uh, the best pick, honestly, because it takes the pressure off of having a number one pick. Because if it's like you get a number one pick and he get hurt, it's like, damn, that's the number one pick. But the yeah. number two pick, everybody forget about. Um, think of Jimmy Clausen. But... <laughs> This pick was real easy for me, bro, because I thought Ish was going this for number one. I, I agree with Ish in everything he said about CD. Yeah. But my second pick, Tyreek Hill, is just going to do exactly what he did last year, which is lead the, point, lead the league in fantasy points. Um, He's going to be – I am going to make a prediction right now that Tyreek touches 2,000 this year. I think he wanted it this year. He yeah. wanted it bad last year. And I think that offense under Mike McDaniel under another, after another full season is going to be even better with the addition of the running back they got and A-Chan and Mostert getting um, – splitting – they have three running backs splitting carries. I think the way that offense is going to open up for Tyreek and his big playability, he's going to touch 2,000 and lead the league in fantasy points this year. So, Tyreek Hill, you are the number two pick in the draft and the number one player in the NFL. Shout out to Tyreek for that and for that list. Ash is here. Uh, but Can someone go downstairs three. and get Ash? Can't be me because I'm picking third. <laughs> well, somebody got I'm for the milk my shit anyway. Yeah, yeah. Third pick, I already know who I'm locking in to get. It came, it came down to two people, a wide receiver and a running back. But I think I want to go with arguably the best wide receiver in the game. No offense to Tyreek Hill. He was number one last or on the top 100 or whatever. Yeah. Don't know how. But we got it. Uh, I'm not really necessarily a fan. Shout out to my little brother because he's a fan of this team. I don't know how because we're staying in Atlanta. But, you know, Cincinnati is far from us. You're so fucking lucky. Cincinnati is far from us. But, you know, he turns on to watch a Bengals game. I don't know how. We don't got NFL Network. But he does it. I'm taking Jamar. Recipe Stream East, man. I'm taking Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase. Jamar Jamar Chase. Chase. It was hard because the other pick I had was a running back. But hopefully he'll be there. Taking Jamar Chase, 
He's just locked in. I know he don't got the contract yet, but when he get the contract, yeah. he's going to go federal. Revenge. I like I like Joe Burrow to come back and people to put respect back on his name. Jamar Chase was still getting his numbers with uh old boy who was back there. I forgot his name. Higgins or no, the uh, backup, backup quarterback, quarterback number six. Just call him six. Six, six yeah. You can do that football. Just say that. Uh, six. Six. Right, yeah, so yes, good. Jamar. Jamar Chase is my pick. That's an amazing pick. <laughs> good luck, everybody. All right, so <laughs> I'm not going to cap. I think I know where Jalen going because I can't believe he's still on the board, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, I thought um, I thought. Yeah, I, thought I did, yeah, I did too. Sure. Uh, go ahead. BTG is up. Hey, next. man. Look, Jamar Chase is crazy. I'm going uh, Jettis, though. I got to go uh, Justin Jefferson. Yes. I think um, – the whole offense is finna be, bro. Like, yeah, <laughs> they're he's finna be in one of those situations where, like, F it, just down there, yeah, down there. Actually. So, okay, so I think that's uh, the most solid pick. I can't believe I, he's still on the board. I didn't pick Justin Jefferson because I watched Sam Darnold play football, and that's because fact. of that, I am worried that. If they're going to end so many possessions early, it's not even going to give him the opportunity to be the receiver he usually is. So that is why I went with Tyreek because I do believe Tyreek is going. I mean, not Tyreek. Uh, Two is going to stay upright and healthy. And even if you, even if he doesn't, Tyreek's breakaway speed, you can get a ball. Get a lot of yak, yeah. two yards. He's going to take it seventy. So that is that is why I left Justin off the board. Um, so four best receivers in football are off the board already. Uh, Detroit's own Barry. You're up. Uh, is anything in y'all cups? Because am I missing something? Give me CMC. Like, what's up with y'all? CMC at five. Like, anybody right. say CMC? I like, get receivers, but hey, I got to <laughs> run that back. Who can tote the ball, screen Fuck. passes. We don't have. Exactly. <laughs> what y'all got going on? Give me CMC. I heard as a Lion fan, but I just got to go with the, the guy. I was so. I, of course, let me say as one. Fuck, I want justify. Him. I didn't go CMC because I don't think he'll play all 17 this year. I just feel like it's been a couple years. Like he's he's kind of do like he's saying, saying he do is crazy. Hey, it's crazy. Like, Put it in the air. It's crazy. crazy. <laughs> but like, I feel you though. I feel. Hurt. But the Shanahan system isn't like, hey, let's get you a couple carries, get you out. It's like, now nah, you gonna run the ball thirty times, you gonna catch the ball ten times, and it's a lot in the NFL. And I didn't pick I didn't, I didn't pick Jettis for the same thing. I just I just know Sam Darnold's not an NFL quarterback. Like, and also with Jettis, I think Detroit we stacked up our secondary. Green Bay has a good secondary. Chicago's known for their defense. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it say Jada's name. Yeah, it, but it is Sam Donald, so I don't know. I'll say Jamar. <laughs> I think bro finna run a hundred slants a game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like he might, no get, cap. he might get triple team. <laughs> <for no reason. laughs> Throw it, bro. <laughs> Slant drag. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jamar Chase. Yeah, I'm going 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 Jamar Chase.
offense starts and ends with Christian McCaffrey. That's and I just think because of that, if the wear and tear, he's going to give you a good eight weeks, nine weeks. But is he going to last at 17? I just – I find it hard to How many games did he play last year? He played like 15, I think. I, pick, I think I like he played like 15, played 16. Yeah, he, played, he, played, he played most of them. I think he only missed one game last year. He might not have missed any, honestly. And just because we're, we're killing a little time while Chris uh, comes back uh, with the, the Ashes and for that NPC. But to talk more about CD going first because I think that is a little like – Clip bait. It's clip bait. Hello. <laughs> 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 little content driven. <laughs> but, I will, but in that same vein, it's nothing more that the Cowboys want than a story. And CD chasing two thousand yards. Feed him. <laughs> Feed him. Like that. They just paid CD all that money. They did a. Uh, the the owner was like, "Yeah, we gonna keep, we just gonna force feed him the balls." Oh, shit. That's all you got to tell me. Like, I mean, I don't care if the Cowboys win or lose. But Dak is going to be healthy, play a lot of games, and CD's going to get all the targets because the it, rest of the receivers they're not stink. Good. CD was a good number one pick, and in, in, in all honesty, I just worry about <clears throat> does he if, does he have trouble getting open? Yeah. Like, is the offense so focused around him mm-hmm. that it is hard to, for him to get seven or eight right. touches? That would be my only only question. But shit, the offense was damn near the same last year, right. and they didn't have that issue. So I don't see them having it. Um, they can walk in confused. It's the worst shit. For me, he's back downstairs. He didn't get him. He said he walked him up. I don't. So y'all. He's on the board anyway. It's your pick. All right. So yeah, he's on the board. Chris is back. He is on the board. Chris left the podcast to go get somebody and came back. <laughs> came back with nothing. He came back with, with nobody. <laughs> and then walked in and looked confused to us. Yeah. Like he, like, I like we. Up here. <laughs> I put in the chat all the players that's been picked. So all right, cool, 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 cool. You got about 30 more seconds. CD, Tariq, Jamar, Justin, CMC. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think that's a, that's a good spot for me to be in. Um. I'm I'm gonna do the obvious thing here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick Bijan. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I'm just gonna go ahead and pick Bijan. Oh, 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 truthfully, it's not a hard pick for me. Uh, I know what you said earlier about you know he already splits touches, mm-hmm. but I think I think the OC is gonna make a conscious effort to get a lot of, a lot of the young players we have, or uh, yeah, a lot of the young players we have on the Falcons more involved, and I feel like Bijan is a part of that. Uh, forgot what the graphic was last year, but Bijan wasn't in a lot in uh in goal to go. Let me tell you, because I drafted Bijan last year at the end of the first round. He, he, I think he played in like forty percent of the goal line snaps. Arthur Smith. Yeah, but like inside the five. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like he was just wasn't on the field. Yeah, mm-hmm. more criminal Arthur Smith. Man. Yeah, so right. amazing. You still got. I, I get. I get sometimes where you kind of have an embarrassment of riches. That wasn't necessarily the case, but you know Tyler Algier is also a pretty good running back. But when you draft somebody at number eight, yeah. you will, you one hundred percent should have them in more goal to go situations than the guy that you drafted in the second round yeah. or whatever round. That and was you should have run tight end passes on the four year. Oh, not shout out, shout out And if you're gonna do that, at least don't do it with the third string tight end. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Arthur Smith. It's amazing to me you got another job. That is. Crazy. I'm, I'm seeing like Pittsburgh run like running back plays with Cordell Patterson, which is kind of confusing. Yeah. I think they already got two good runs. I can't believe y'all dragging Cordell Patterson. It's corpse out here still. Like, man. Bro, let's see if he go home. He's looking at this hanging off the bone. Yeah. yeah like, like, let's see let's if he go the, home. The one good year we got out of him, that was that was it. Like, it's it's over. Y'all ran him into the crowd. Y'all see if he. <laughs> Super, <laughs> Super Bowl champion, Cordell Patterson. By the Hall of Famer? I think he got the most punt. Most, yeah, yeah, most yeah, kick yeah. returns. Yeah, he got one of them. He'd be in my Hall of Famer. Yeah, he's him for some. He's a Patriot, so I'm saying yes. If you, let, if you let Hester in, you, I mean, not, Whoa, not, no, 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 not like that, not like that. I'm saying like if Hester's getting in, the first because, you know what I'm saying, because of returns, I feel like the, nah, that he has a valid case. Nah, not the same. Nah, nah. Josh Cribb got a case before oh, yeah, um, Josh Cordell Patterson did. No, oh, crazy. He's crazy. Josh Cribb's got more touchdowns than he did. No, kick return touchdowns. Cordell Patterson played running back, too, though. I don't know, who the fuck cares about that? He played wide He was number 84. And he was a oh, enough for me to not put him in the house. His position is after. He was number 84 running back. back. Yeah, That's enough the, for me. Cordero Patterson is Percy Harvey. Nelson. Nelson, you have the next The video. audible silence. The <laughs> volumes. <laughs> the loudest silence ever. Um, well, I'm going to follow Chris Lee here, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just going to have to go with the obvious choice. I'm going to have to go with Mr. Swole Batman. 
Mr. O holds Calvin Johnson's record, or beat his record, I'm sorry, for the most consecutive games with 125 plus yards. I'm sorry, Barry. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah, I got to go with the man himself, A.J. Brown. You know what I'm saying? My boy's in the best shape of his life. You know, you can argue that with the, like you said, embarrassment of riches and the offense, how many pieces they got, I don't care. Like, that, he's a top five in the league, a straight dog, and he's going to get his. And he was on pace for 2,000 yards before our offense fell off a cliff. And Brian Johnson, you need to be, no, nah, I'm not going to say that, <laughs> but bad things need to happen to you. But, yeah, AJB, man. All right, AJ Brown is the what seventh pick in the draft? That's a good pick. I that's where I figured he was going when he said "swole Batman." I wasn't really sure because I thought that was LeBron, so I wasn't really sure what you meant by that. But AJ Brown is a really good pick. Now let me got let me ask you this, y'all: uh, CD, Tyreek, Jamar, Justin, and AJ Brown all are off the board. All are off the board. Who are y'all top five receivers? We're waiting to ask you again. Here. Um, who are y'all top five receivers going into the season? Oh, that's been all time. No. <laughs> not doing that today. Nope. That's not an argument. Uh, top five receivers in the NFL right now. Jettas. I'm not, I'm not going to do order, but Jettas, Hill, AJ. Um, <coughs> this one gets tough. I'll say Chase and... I guess, I, I guess I'll go CD. I really want, I want to say Amonra. I want to say Amonra. I'm but saying Amonra. I, I really, <laughs> and, and I'm an Eagles fan, so it really pains me to say CD. Yeah. But like, yeah, I, I just like 1,700 yards. Like you can't make that make that shit up. You know what I'm right. saying? Like it's it's just, it's just not arguable. But Amonra consistent as hell. Like he, yeah. he's it, it's really between five of them. But that, that's my five. So I'm gonna go. I mean, mo my list majority looks like that. Uh, so. No order here either, but Jettas, Reek, Jamar. Let's do order. I don't like no order. Okay, yeah. if we, can, if we do order. Okay, so yeah. if we do order, give me Tyreek. Okay. Give me Jettas. You the latest. Give me Devontae. <laughs> give me Devontae Adams. Oh, yeah. uh, I respect that. Give me Jamar. Okay. And then, hmm, five, I can go, um. Uh, Five, I'm okay with going St. Brown. Okay. I'm going St. Brown number one. Uh, <laughs> Detroit, stand up. Hey, you know, Mar Water City Marlins. Uh, Jam 02. Exactly. Uh, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to take Justin at a two. <coughs> Give me CD at three. Because I like Chase, but I just, I'm just concerned with these, like, with these deep there receivers. Because it's yeah. like, like with Tyreek too. Because I want to take Devontae because he never lost the rep. Crazy footwork. Shout out to Rocket. Never lost yeah. up still. So what, I got four and then? Yeah. Uh, shoot. Damn. Yeah, give me, uh, I'll, I'll put Chase in there. Just because. All right, I'm going at number one, Justin Jefferson, who is going to end up retiring a top five receiver ever as long as he gets consistent quarterback play after this year. Um, Tyreek Hill, who is retiring a top eight receiver ever, is at number two. Um, the reason I have Justin in front of Tyreek is simply due to the fact that what what – what Tyreek can do as far as breaking a play open, I think Justin is simply just able to do with his hands. He's one of those receivers that if you have a 4th and 18, like Jalen said earlier, you can really just say, fuck it, he down there somewhere and grow up. And he has multiple cases of doing that. Yeah. And if you notice one thing about him and Kurt's connections, Kurt was thrown to him wide open because he was winning reps by two and three wide open. <laughs> Ridiculous receiver, understands how to sit down in the soft spots of zone and everything. He has everything you would want in your receiver, and he can go play um, the slot, play outside. Just, man. And then Tyreek is Tyreek. Number three, I would have Devontae. Um, I agree with Chris. I think uh, longevity does matter, and you doing it at a high level with multiple different quarterbacks is impressive. Last year, he had Aiden McDonald and Jimmy Garoppolo as his quarterbacks and was playing on the Las Vegas Raiders. Yeah. Everything about his situation was shitty, and all he did was put up numbers. And Shout I will out to say, Netflix doc, too. Uh, <laughs> that's where I was going. Yeah. I will say, I don't know if I would be saying this if I didn't watch quarterback, but watching what he had, I mean, watch, watch receiver on Netflix, but after I watched that, I realized, bro, like, it's just, it's a different type of different type of dog to really just go be able to go out there and put up a thousand yards seven eight touchdowns with terrible quarterback play so Devontae will be number three 
At number four, I'm having a hard time picking between four receivers. I'm a Rod, AJ, Jamar, and CD. Um, but I think I'm going to go CD at four because I think CD – 135 catches is ridiculous. That means you are consistently getting open. Does he have a favorite in playing on that beautiful Dallas turf? Yes. Does he have a favorite in playing in those perfect Kobe cleats to give him superpowers? Yes. Does he have um, a little favor towards him because he is going to get targeted more than pretty much everybody else on this list? Yes. But with high targets comes a lot of responsibility, and he never falls. So CD would go number four. And at number five, I am going to go A.J. Brown. Um, I love Jamar Chase. I really love Jamar Chase. But where I think Joe Burrow makes Jamar Chase looks a little bit better, I think A.J. Brown makes Jalen Hurts look a little bit better. And that is going to be my complete reason for that. Is, um, this nigga come in a podcast and just start screaming. Um, um, but but um, My bad, my bad, my bad. Um, Everybody, y'all know Ash. She was on the show last week. Uh, welcome. Um, what do you do, y'all? Uh, but no mic, no nothing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? We split. All right, baby, baby. All right, and then so number five, I'm going AJ Brown. Just like I said, Ash, you are on the clock. We put you on the spot. The first seven picks were CD Lamb, Tyree Hill, Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, Christian McCaffrey, Behind Robinson, AJ Brown, and you have the eighth pick. Let me get Puka Nakua. Nice. Nice. No hesitation. Nice. No hesitation. I yes. like it. No hesitation. And Ash, you're picking again because we're doing a snake draft. So now you have another pick. Got his ass. Uh, he wasn't ready for that. Mm. <laughs> Pressure on me right now, man. Let me think. I bet I miss on this third right here. Pressure on me, man. Let me think. Let me think. Who the fuck took B-Jot? I'm Chris. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Who you thought to? <laughs> I put Ash on the spot. Oh, that's why Ruby yeah, yeah, he put me on the spot. He put me on the spot right here. Hold on, hold on. Let me yeah. think. Um, so after after Amarad and Jamar, those are the seven everybody named. Right. Where would we go at eight and nine and ten? Well, let, uh, I'll do my top five while Ash is thinking. Oh yeah, you number two. I'm gonna go Jettis one, three two, three. Three, I'm gonna go Jamar. Four, I'm going to go A.J. Brown. Five, I'm going to go C.D. Lamb. That's literally my list. No. I, I, I think Jamar is in a position, yeah, to, like, like you mentioned with C.D., where he's going to get all the targets. I think Jamar could have 1,800 if T wasn't there, per se. But his production in high leverage, high moments, like, plays you need. Like, he's going to win, bro. Yeah. yeah. Jamar is just always going to win, but it's a little different when you got T with you and other people, especially with somebody like Joe who's – Actually, throwing to people who are open usually, like, and, and that's my that's exactly why I have Devontae in that spot yeah. is because he's been doing that for ten years. That's right. It's, yeah. At the end of games, it was Rodgers knew where he was yeah. going, mm-hmm. and Devontae wasn't going to lose his rep. He wasn't going to drop a ball. Yeah. So exact same reason, it just longevity yeah. adds into my. Action. And Jamar rookie, Jamar rookie year, crazy or left over. <laughs> Like, he's been living off that aura for a minute. I was about to say, I have an answer to your. I have one for sure answer to like who you would put. I guess in like the seven to nine space, mm-hmm. Terry McLaurin. Okay, that's a good pick for sure. That's a good pick, uh, Terry got, McLaurin. I, I I'm putting. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, got, what? I, got, I got an idea who I want, man, but I don't know this. Uh, you got a pick? He a lot. Oh, you only got a minute. I forgot. Got a minute? Yeah. All right. Thirty seconds. Ooh, ooh, you know, I hate the Saints. So Chris Olave, thirty-two Damn. weeks. Daniel, <laughs> damn, Daniel. Let me think, let me think, let me think. I just had oh, a question. Oh. He was asking, well, they was asking. Pacheco. Isaiah Pacheco. Isaiah Pacheco. Pacheco. That's tough. Yeah, I don't know how to spell his name. Um, all right, Ash with Isaiah Pacheco. Um, Nelson, you are on the clock. Oh, Ash. You done with the NFL fantasy list? Look, you listen to the players. Jalen. Watch that, Mike. It's nothing you can really do. I'm just saying, Mike, be mine. Listen, man. All right, I'm going to start the clock now for you. All right, man. You know what I'm saying? It's the snake and make or break you, you know what I'm saying? And I really feel like I was going to take him with my first round pick. To be honest, I was picking between AJ and this guy. And with the snake, I was able to still get him. You know what I'm saying? But we're bringing Amon Ra to, to the team, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who, 
no one's gonna fuck with the one two punch of AJ and Amon Ra. It's about to get really serious. Y'all don't fucked up. I, that, I'm, gonna just, <laughs> I'm gonna just leave it at that, man. What are you on the clock? It's tough. It's tough. That's a good pick. Call that nigga Chris, please. <laughs> <laughs> What up? What up? Yeah, no um, more nicknames for you. <laughs> so, uh, still a little too soon to go quarterback, so I'm not going to go there. I uh, feel like Bijan was a really good first round pick. I do I do typically get PTSD from picking running backs first in fantasy drafts because I picked Christian McCaffrey twice, like two years in a row, and he got hurt both years. So, like, I swore yeah. off doing it after that. What the fuck are you on? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if, if Chris McCaffrey ever sees this episode, he's going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said he was going to get hurt. He, he knows. Know. He, he knows. You know what it was like when he was on the Panthers, bro. That shit not going to last forever. Man, that shit was bad, oh, bro. bro. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick somebody out of my top five receivers. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go Devontae. Ooh, Devontae. Like I said, never, never lost a rep. Uh, in spite of no matter what kind of quarterback play has been on the field, like he's just very consistent. Like it, it wasn't a hard choice for me personally. I just hey, still has not lost a rep. Still, to this silver, day, boy. to this moment, he has not lost a rep. <sighs> Unfortunately, Nelson took my pick. So, <laughs> what's better than CMC? CMC 2.0 behind the best offensive line in the NFL. Give me Jameer Gibbs. Fuck. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so mad. <laughs> like I said, best offensive line. Sleeper MVP pick Jared Goff. We'll talk about that later. But yeah, give me Jared Gibbs. Even though he might split carries with uh, David. Best off the line. We play. I think Detroit plays in the dome. Yes. Yep. Fourteen times. So oh, like they don't have like, out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All yeah. So that ball finna get spread around. That's why I really wanted Amaran because easy. Give me my money. So, <laughs> I'm taking Jamir Gibbs, man. Nice. All right. BTG is on the clock. Is it me? Yes, sir. Um. I Round two, we have in a row. <laughs> Pacheco, Amon, Vante, and Jameer Gibbs. Mm. I was definitely finna cop Gibbs. Let's see here. Yeah, Gibbs is a high commodity. I, Let's I see have my here. next pick. I hope, it don't, I hope it don't I, get it. I'm gonna need an order guy while we're here. <laughs> I'm finna get it. Oh, I know where you're gonna pick. I don't give a fuck. If you go on order, mm. I know what you're thinking of this. Oh, brother. <laughs> I'm gonna say that. I think I might go kicker. <laughs> we don't even have kickers. I might go out on a limb here, guys. And just so you guys know, just so you guys know, it is uh, quarterback, two running backs, three receivers, a flex, a tight end, and a defense. Oh, I don't got a kicker? No, you don't yeah. have a kicker. Oh, oh, shit, take these things off my board. Hmm. <laughs> Young old cool. Dang, do I go there? All right, on the 30, clock is Jalen. Um, All right, let's see here. The pick is in. No, it ain't. Pick out there. Yeah, so it's a lot of good players left. Nobody it has is. I'm surprised. Um, let me ask you guys a question now that I'm looking at his name. What do you guys think Marvin Harrison Jr. is going to do this year over in Carolina? Um, Arizona. Arizona. Yeah, my bad. Everybody. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> it's, hard, it's really hard to say because that's a tough division. Uh, yeah. And the defense is that division. Don't play. Like, his quarterback can't see the line. Yeah, he's going to have time. Um, Black Ops 6 drop. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> that's hurt, All right, guys. I think I'm going to go. I was going to go running back, but since A-Rod is back, I'm going Garrett Wilson. I'm going Fuck. Garrett Wilson. Okay. I'm going Garrett Wilson. Time being right now, y'all, y'all <laughs> <laughs> it's time being right now. It's time being right now. Y'all I'm going right. Garrett Wilson. And clearly, that's a, hot, that's a hot pick, but yeah. No one was oh, going good. to take Garrett Wilson. Y'all let this nigga look at the board. <laughs> no one was going to take him. Y'all let him look at the board. Up next. Um, it's me. Next. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's going to look at this. He's watching the air for real. Uh, I'm going to give you a minute to team the game. No, because I already know what I'm getting, bro. <laughs> going running back, bro. Okay, okay. Fuck. Let me not be so sad. I, I want this nigga. Let me, so Let me not be so sad. Fuck, that was going to be my second round receiver, bro. I was going to. Oh, my God. Yeah, he. <laughs> it's a running back I want, but he's not going to be able to play till. Like the fifth week of the season, so uh, I'm going. Am I going JT or uh, let me get Kenneth Walker? Okay. Uh, good pick. That's a good pick. Right? Oh. Going 
Locker. That's a great pick, Roby. All right, so I am on the clock. Um, oh, I'm back to back. I am. We have three receivers to choose from, so I'm trying to figure out if I should snag me a running back in this round or stick with the receivers because they're going to be so far and few in between after these next two rounds. But I am about to pick again, so I'm really only picking against Ish's two picks. Mm-hmm. So that's how I'm measuring this. And I think I know where Ish is going to go for one of them. Y'all cooked. I ain't going to lie. Y'all niggas. So I think I can go ahead and get who Roby mentioned who I think is going to play a very big part in my sleeper team in the AFC, the Indianapolis Colts, and helping Anthony Richardson out. So I'm going to go Jonathan Taylor for my first running back. Wow. Um, That's and a great pick. Yes, I love JT. I think he's one of the most underrated running backs in the league because he's not very flashy and he don't play in a very uh, big marketed city like your Saqu- um, your Saquons, your Christian McCaffrey's, and your Behind. So this year, I do think Jonathan Taylor is going to have a great year. And Shane Steichen is a mastermind. Um, shout out to the Eagles. He really, really made them who they were in 2022 mm-hmm. offensively. So I think he's going to really unlock Anthony Richardson as a quarterback. And in doing so, Jonathan Taylor will be in very important because what makes a great quarterback a great running game. Right. I got JT in another league. I love the pick. <laughs> I, love it. I, I, um, listen, I think y'all have picked really, really well so far. Um, but this is where it ends for sure. <laughs> like, Nigga I, too. Okay, I can listen, will bro. not be making that video later. I ain't gonna <laughs> <be> <laughs> Listen, a lot of these might happen. I will not be coming in last. <laughs> but I am, I cannot believe he's still sitting here. And I got a couple minutes because I'm back to back. So, I'm going to pick first Saquon Barkley. We, you mentioned best line in the league for Gibbs. Saquon Barkley looks like Christian McCaffrey's joining the 49ers. A team who needed an offensive identity, getting a new coordinator by one of the best lines in the league on a running team, coming from a bad situation. I think he's gonna put up crazy numbers. A nigga who knows ball. Right? I did. Yeah. So a nigga who knows ball. Shout out to my Eagles niggas. Mm-hmm. We call Saquon Barkley right there, and just to double it up, mm. my quarterback just tore his Achilles. He forty one. Our division, bro. Yeah. I was yeah. you. Our division, yeah. bad. I don't really got. I, don't I can't believe he fell this low. I Listen, can't. might be one of the best defenses in the league. We just you snap. Brees Hall. You snap. Give me Brees Hall. He was on my board, but I'm, the, I'm more upset of Greg Wilson. I think Aaron Rodgers will play a little, you know, like, I'll be Aaron Rodgers when I need to, but the game plan of the team will move through Brees Hall. If y'all are Aaron Rodgers, are y'all playing again on Monday night as the first game of the season? I thought about that. You got to. <laughs> Is that first game on Monday? Yeah, his first game. They, they, oh, they, they hate him. They played 49 They hate him. I'm not bringing the flag out again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know that much. I ain't gonna Keep the flag away from is me, it, bro. Is it in Jersey or is it in? Santa Clara. Mark, Mark. Is it in Jersey or it's in Santa Clara? I'm sure. It's in Santa Clara. But they're playing Monday night again. I was like, oh, yeah. I'm not doing it. Keep the flag away. I would play. I would play the 49ers at all if I was there. <laughs> he, he's not playing at MetLife, so he good. I just popped my Achilles my first game back and played the 49ers. I mean, he's playing Joey Bosa, man. Like he, he might be all right. <laughs> he can play at Fred Warner. <laughs> you know Joey Bosa only see color. Like <laughs> we should be good. <laughs> so you niggas in San Francisco hit hard. <laughs> I am. Um, <laughs> I am. Um, I'm sad, y'all. Nigga, you. Ish, 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 Ish did take my pick. Um, I didn't think he was. I thought he was gonna receiver and running back. I knew he was gonna get Brees Hall. I, I thought he was gonna get a receiver. Saquon was gonna be my next pick. I'm hurt, everybody. Um, I don't feel good. <laughs> I almost took this in the first round. I literally almost took. So, Brees is gonna be a dog. So. I'm extremely nervous to do this, but if it works, You're it's genius. going to pay off, and it might win me the league. Facts. Because this guy was forgotten about. Uh, maybe it was due to injury. Maybe it was due to their team had a down year. But with the revamped offensive line, a couple of new pieces on defense, a genius offense, this guy can have a 
really big season, especially because he has a dynamic receiver next to him, which means he's not going to draw double teams. Right. Now, his issue has been injury, so it makes me nervous to get him. But if Cooper Cup can stay healthy, I think he oh, will be a 12 to 1,500-yard yeah, receiver. Yeah. So I am going to go Cooper Cup, and my season relies on it. Yeah. So fuck. <laughs> um, the Cooper Cup versus Puka dynamic is, is interesting. It very is. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Listen, it can only be one number one. Yeah, I know who I'm rooting against. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Big Rope is on the clock, boss. Well, it looked like I will be the one doing the target run. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we're changing the rules. It's okay. That is crazy. Well, listen, I think that's, that's a perfect. The, the comment section got us. That, 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 that log is going to be so It's up to you. <laughs> I'm going to be the comment. <laughs> Who's looking at you at all? The niggas. Please. Man, niggas aren't even Garrett Wilson. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that, that real life just messed me up. Like, my whole thought is. I like the then idea. he just took Cooper. Like, I love the Drew Walls idea, but we should send you somewhere way worse to Target. Like, <laughs> send you somewhere crazy. Alta. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> That's coming <up. laughs> Yo, the beauty supply store. Hello, I, 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 I got to take my girl or something. I can't. You can't. Like, you can't. You can't. And, yo, go in the Alta by yourself. Just, like, yeah, like no. really locked in, though. Like, asking questions. <laughs> shit, like, I really don't want to go ahead. Let me go, Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. Yeah. Kelsey, that's a good pick. It's a little, it's a little risky because how old he is, so he really don't be locked in. But the number one receiver. My Swifties, I'm with y'all. <laughs> I'm with y'all. Come on now. He just got us a million views right there. <laughs> Come on now. Oh yeah, it's up now. Uh, all right, we switch your lanes. BTG. Check it off. BTG is uh, on the clock. On the clock. I don't think this is gonna be a popular pick, but I think uh, bro is motivated. I think he is going to help my boy out a lot. Um, I think they're going to split carries, really. But <clears throat> I'm going Derrick Henry. Mm. I'm going Derrick Henry. Yeah. I got the here. All right. Uh, so, I mean, so, I got my two running backs. I got to go receiver, obviously. We're going to get Chelsea, but uh, he was already taken. So, I think I'm going to go with uh, the future quarterback, his number one weapon. I think he has the most trust in him. I'm scared about this because of the new addition they got, but I'm going to Michigan, man. I'm going Nico Collins. Mm. Mm. I like that. I like that pick. I like that. I like that. It's not a good pick, they're gassing. It's crazy how fast like that dicks fell off. We did a top five conversation. Nobody mentioned him. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't know about bro. Nigga, he's slow. That's the only why he thought about He's slow. At the end of last year, he had trouble getting open, and it will translate. He'll be better this year because he has CJ and the good receivers next to him, but he had trouble getting open last year. Those drops really hurt him. And those drops. Yeah. He had a couple bad drops. Uh, Chris, you are on the clock. Please hurry up. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was thinking about this for a couple minutes. And I'm going to be the one to jump out the window on one of the rookies. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay. I'm going to go Roma Dunze. Uh, <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Roma Dunze is surrounded by, you know, like, not only is Caleb surrounded by a pretty good situation, like, coming into his rookie year, but so is Roma Dunze, bro. Like, That's right. Keenan Allen, like, he's, you know, he's not an elite receiver, but he's, like, all reliable. He's going to draw eyes, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They still got Cole Komet up there. Not 100% sure who the running back is. De- DeAndre Swift. DeAndre Swift. Yeah. Not, mm-hmm. Also, not That's bad. Cool. You know, they had a pretty good pretty good year last year. DJ uh, Moore. DJ, yeah, DJ Moore. Right? Yeah. See how many names I had to go he through? Did, just to, he did but, yeah, man, I think he just took the wide receiver he, forward, bro. He's Stop! <laughs> Listen, bro, I'm telling you. He said, I'm going to jump out the window and went to the rookie with the most options around him. I'm, I'm okay with jumping. the target video, we're going to make you wear shorts, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with jumping out the window on that, for real, man. Like, I really am. Like, I've, I've seen enough of Caleb Williams to, like, really yeah. really think that it's going to be something. I, like, I agree with you. To me, they're a sleeper wise. wild card team, too. I, I agree with you fit-wise because Caleb do got that, like, like fucking he down there somewhere, and Roman Dunze is like eighty percent of that. Like he's six three, he just like just throw it up. So I can definitely yeah. see. You know? It's gonna be some weeks yeah. that that pick make a lot of sense. That's a fact. But it's gonna yeah. be too many weeks that yeah. it don't, and it's gonna come back to bite yeah. you. If nothing else, he's more so gonna be my flex guy for sure. That though. means it's still a lot. Right. It's still a lot on the board. That means you should pick them with three, but I'm not gonna I, tell you. It's, how it's how okay. Draft. It's okay. I'm gonna tell you the draft. It's okay. <laughs> draft. We have a good time. Me. Trust yeah. good time. Oh, <laughs> uh, Nelson, you were on the clock game. We're gonna do the pot later in a second. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that was a crazy pick, gang. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, it's just pretty. Bro, but your shirt is crazy. I've been looking at that motherfucker. 
that shit's tough. You know? And I think it's going to look even crazier. A real nigga. The way I'm going to go with it is the actual guy you should get from that fucking team is <laughs> DJ Moore. Mm. Like, you me. That, that was on my board. That's my right. <laughs> Nigga made somebody know he took the ride with <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, like, I can't believe that shit just got handed to me like that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Right like, no, we really just went through their whole skill position room. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. Like, nigga threw Cole Cabana in there. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> the core of the Bears is crazy, but I, like, I ain't gonna hold you. DJ Moore is wide receiver one on that fucking I'm team. Like, Keenan Allen. Like, <laughs> Keenan Allen, slow ass, old ass, probably gonna get it's, 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 it's not. <laughs> that boy looking more, fat. More it's, I'm not. I'm not moved. I'm not moved. And bro, like I seen him do it on the Panthers with me and Ish and Daniel throwing to him. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, my boy is Mr. Consistent. And now you got a dog throwing to him. Yeah, it's gonna get real spooky out there. And yeah, I love it. I appreciate you. Brother. I really do. Ash, you are on the clock. Welcome. Welcome. What it do? What it do? I got a, I got a pick. I don't you know. Got two picks, by the way. Two back to back. This first pick right here is if it's another running back. Shout out to my boy that just got to Green Bay, Josh Jacobs. That's a good. Pick. That's a good. Pick. Josh That's Jacobs. A hey, pick. I like Josh Jacobs. I like that fit in Green Bay with a young Jordan Love. He's gonna be able to release some of that pressure off Jordan, man. I got Green Bay hey, being a little dark horse playoff team coming up, man. Another dark horse playoff team coming up. So hey. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm. I don't want to say it, you know what I'm saying? But hey, they, they nice, man. I can't think about any NFC I really like other than Green Bay for real. All right, are you back on the clock? Back on the clock. Oh, back on the clock. Another Ooh, nigga. he wasn't thinking about this. Another nigga. Uh, nah. Is it too early to go quarterback? That's on you, bro. This your draft. This your draft. You know what? Give me Lamar fucking Jackson, Dude, man. Damn. L fucking J. It's that time, baby. Yes, sir. All right. Oh, okay. Nelson, you are back on the clock, my brother. Hey, man. I love what's going on here, fellas. I really, <laughs> I really do. You know what I'm saying? The core is already nasty. We got AJ. We got Amonra. Now we got DJ. Like, the three wide receivers set. Y'all really not fucking with me, you know? And I speak three wide receivers. Yeah, we going to because it's getting real treacherous. And now, of course, we got to fill the running back spot. And not only that, my dog out of Clemson playing with Sunshine. Real nigga Travis Etienne Jr. Mm. Right there. Mm. A straight dog. A I don't know how tapped in y'all be to Jacksonville games, but my boy tote the fucking rock. He does. My boy tote the rock. He and he is hard to go down. My boy is gonna get them tutties. I watched him get three tutties in London. Like it's 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 not sweet out here, my boys. And it's it's about to get real real serious. His little brother will have a better season than him. Who? At Georgia. Little, oh, little brother, at Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> little brother will have a better season there. Hey, man. Nigga might be lifting a chip at the end of the year. Chris, Chris, you are on the clock. All right. Uh, Great pick, Nelson. Chris. I'm on the clock. Oh, okay. I see this here. Yeah, you on the clock. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I ain't separated right in my notes. Um, so, I... Hmm. Okay, yeah. I'm a uh while Chris is thinking, let me just throw this out there. And I'm actually glad this is your pick because I don't want to I don't want you to answer. Y'all think Tyreek Hill better than Julio Jones? No. Uh, as far as what? Yeah. No, no. As far as just, just overall. Uh, uh, if there, if there was actually, uh, like all time, like, you, like no, I'm saying all time? Yeah. Nah, no, I don't know, because it was like a I think it was a start bench cut of Prime A B him and Julio. And I was I cut Tyreek like real easy. While we're here, who you start? Easily, I'm AB. Let's go. Let's go around. Start bench cut. I'm probably. I'm probably. And I love Julio in the foul. I'm probably cutting Tyreek. I'm probably cutting Tyreek. I think everyone should cut Tyreek. It's crazy. I got Tyreek over him. I think I'm cutting Tyreek. Yeah. I love Tyreek. I just like I like big speed receiver. Yeah, I like I like a big receiver. Big receiver to me. No, no, I definitely Julio like just like physically. Just that. Crazy, but Tyreek just break the game and stuff. Like I see people, like you literally can't take Tyreek out the game, no matter what you do. No matter what you do, you can't take. Because at worst, I see Andy Reid hand that nigga the ball off in the backfield. Nah, they they have a a, like a mid playoff game last year. So yes, I do. I do think that the issue why I would take Julio over Tyreek 
is the fact that part of the reason I Julio didn't get to have the career he would have had if he didn't play with Matt Ryan and Atlanta Falcons. I don't think they would have had the offense that they had. A B where Ben Big Big Ben was throwing the ball up to A B A B fourteen times no matter what every single game. Julio never had that. And you would go through Atlanta Falcons mm-hmm. games and you would be like, why right. won't they give the ball to Julio? Yes, that's so that's what I'm saying. He starred in his role yeah. to the upteenth degree as much as you could. If you would have put him with Big Ben where they yeah. was gonna force feed him the ball or put him with a quarterback that was gonna do that, Julio would be going down as one of the three games. Yeah. And I, I definitely agree with that because. Um, like five <laughs> I was about to say I done, mold, I done molded over with like three receivers Yeah um, I am going to go ahead and go DK Metcalf okay. 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 Um, <laughs> I think it was a very My actually is kind of surprised he filled this for But that also speaks to the receiver talent in the NFL But like And he has uh, What's it called on his team What's, what's the name from Ohio State? Yeah, plays next to JSN. Yeah, JSN. Yeah, yeah. JSN. Solid offense out there in Seattle. Like you yeah. said earlier, like that division is always like really tough. Everybody's gonna bring their best. And I feel like Seattle's like one of the one of the better teams yeah, out there. Sleeper team for sure. Yeah. I like Seattle. They tough. He's like going. That. He's going to crash out. It's not <laughs> but <laughs> back to your point about Julio Jones, I agree with it a lot. Cause in the red zone they would target A B. In right. our red zone Chris can yeah. attest to this. You we can't target. We him. barely yeah. guard. We barely targeted Julio, right? Yep. Like yeah. he's, he's a decoy of anything. Barely targeted Julio in the red zone. So his touchdowns should be way, way, more way, way higher than what they are on the numbers. And that's the only reason why I would start AB just because of the numbers. Great answer. I hear you. I'm sorry, Julio got a range, bro. <laughs> you throw that thing I've looked it up. anywhere. He has like a nine-year prime. I don't know what AB's is because he was a backup. So AB like, is better. AB probably got the same or maybe one or two more years. Do y'all, maybe, yeah. Do y'all count Buccaneers as prime AB? No. <laughs> I ain't gonna count. He was hey, going crazy on the Buccaneers. Off, he played he was, with Tom Brady, right? So yeah, I mean, that's, that's, fair. Fair. that's fair. So to so to defend it, okay, since everyone has clearly said who it was the target, but to defend my point. Um, first, I'm not giving Julio credit for hypothetical touchdowns. Like, yes, he could have had more, but, like, he didn't. And the same way we said AB numbers better than Julio, Tyreek numbers are ridiculous. And he's done it on multiple teams. So I, I just per- personally prefer Tyreek. My only thing about what the what is is imagine Julio with, like, an Andy Reid offense. Yeah. And then with, then with a Mike McDaniel offense. Exactly. Right. So then, like, yeah, that's, that's, that's one of the what ifs, and I was going to throw that out. Well, I mean, he played with Kyle Shanahan. Who would y'all draft, though? That's a great question. But, like, who would y'all that draft? That's a great question. It, I'm, t- I'm going to take that. I'm still going to draft Julio. I'm drafting Julio. Are, are we playing with this rules? Because if I'm getting A, B, I'm getting a punt returner. I'm getting a kickoff returner. Oh, and I'm that's fair. Like, if you're starting, <laughs> you're Travis Hunter inspired that nigga last night. Yeah. What the fuck do you know about a kick returner? They were drafting a receiver, my nigga. If you're starting your team. Would you rather have Julio or Tyreek? Julio. I, in every day, Julio. Julio. That's every day. I think that. I, I don't think we've never. I've never disagreed with y'all this much. Like, Julio. Is, is, yeah. Julio is a 6'3, 4'3 guy. What are we talking about? Tariq is he four, ran a 4'3 four, three 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 four, three. Three. Tariq 4'1. Listen, man. <laughs> That's cool, bro. But then, like, Julio, is Tyreek a possession receiver like Julio? Like, yes. No. Yes, no. He is now. Right. Okay. Tyreek was one of the best short catch receivers in the league. Two can't and, throw that bitch. And Julio hands from the He did it like, 10 yards in front of him. He can't throw no further. <laughs> like, I think we really just have to kind of sit down and evaluate, bro. Like, fuck the touchdowns, bro. Like, what were you saying about Jibbis? Throw that bitch up and yeah, get I'm trying that to tell you something. That's Julio Jones. You ask Luke Keekly what Julio Jones is about, bro. bro, 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 bro. I watched Julio Jones drop. 300 yards on the Panthers. That was a crazy game. Next, okay. somebody was unemployed the next day. Yeah. I, I think that, that's not a joke. I he got fired the next day. Listen, we talk about the Falcons collapsing the Super Bowl, but did you watch what Julio Jones did? Hey, nah, he had, he had two crazy That, that, that like toe tap, best that toe like tap, and then that, that snag. Oh, Shanahan, I'll never forgive you for what you did today. What? Bro, in the with all smoke at the halftime? What the fuck are we talking about? As a Patriots fan, as a Patriots fan, I don't watch it game 40 million times, but that's one of my Julio favorites. Jones in the NFC Championship is the most outer body experience I've ever had. That is the most underrated game a wide receiver has ever played. Because every single Julio catch was in double. It's crazy. Every single Julio catch was in double. Every single Julio catch was in double. Every single Julio catch Every single Julio catch was in double. 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 Every single Julio catch was in double.
to the one on the sideline was in double coverage. You knew it was going to him. Right? That one he pulled off Buddy like yeah, that. But at the zone. same time, Ooh. I also watched Ty- Tyreek is the only – Tyreek has routes only he can run. But we Tyreek can- won a Super Bowl running a route only literally he can run. But we just saw Tyreek get, like, exposed in the cold weather. Julio was, like, a perfect – no matter the weather – yeah, I'm see, doing what I'm doing. See, right this, time, see but see, this is why I, this is why I disagree. Because Julio got bad playoff games, but also, did he get exposed, or has Tua never played well above seventy degrees? Because we've seen Tyreek play well in cold weather. Tyreek was getting jammed the line still though. No, he for, look, yeah, listen, he's not Devontae. He's not going to win every rep. <laughs> <laughs> you know who is? See, Julio Jones. But see, but the difference is with Julio and Tyreek. If Tyreek win three reps, he might score twenty one points a game. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. That's, that's, fair. Fair. that's a good point. I respect. No, like Tyreek right. takes. It's like if Randy Moss was five eight. But but <laughs> but I will say I think you could put Julio Jones with Mike McDaniel and our what's the face, and he do the same thing. And if you want to give me the Kyle Shanahan point, that was his best season. No, I agree. That's that, 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 that So so that is why I like I. Julio, like Barry said to begin with, is just the perfect archetype for a receiver, like a 6'3", 4'2", 4'3", guy yeah. that has amazing hands and can run every single route to the perfection. And that's another thing. Tariq isn't a great route runner. It don't fucking matter, but he's not a great route runner. So we're just talking about receiver abilities. He got better hands. He's a better route, a better route runner. He's bigger. He can make tougher catches. It's, he's better in the red zone if he was allowed to be. So it's just that is what it is. I understand your point about game break, break, breaking the game open. It's kind of the point we got with Steph. And y'all is the past few 1, years. But like, but like, I just, Julio is just, he a different piece. But we're going to keep going with the draft. This is kind of the break we need to have just for a second, though, because we had to go pick. The re, the, I would push back on Tyreek route running because I think he's just moving too fast to run a good route. Okay. That's that, kind of why I said it didn't matter. He, like, he, he's just moving so fast. Like that clip, that recent clip when he's working out with someone? Yes. Yeah. And yes. another thing, Tyreek runs routes that Julio physically could not run. That's true. Because, like, you watch the Dolphins game, he run, 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 street, come back, and then run back to the other. Like, he do that the whole game. Like, the shape Tyreek is in to play the way he, like, he made, two of got max off Tyreek. Like, Matt Ryan got MVP off Tyreek. No, but it, listen, I mean, who listen, listen, but niggas, listen, <laughs> niggas tell me Matt Ryan ain't. So, I am not me. Matt Ryan got an MVP. I am not me. Matt Ryan got an MVP. Niggas tell me Matt Ryan Hall of Fame. I am not me. Matt Ryan got an MVP. Niggas tell me Matt Ryan Hall of Fame. I am not me. CD getting what thirty eight? Mm-hmm. Justin got something. Yeah. Lot, uh, somebody else just got paid. I can't remember. Are you? Are you just got thirty? Mm-hmm. I don't think Cincinnati is like they a small market team, so they, they might they're not giving. T not getting paid. T not getting paid. Yeah, T's out for sure. He's franchise after this season. It's yeah, this is yeah, 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 but this is it yeah. without a doubt. No, I'm saying he's pay, he's playing. Jamar is not playing. Yeah, so that's why I'm going with T Higgins because I think he's going to be the WR one. I don't see Jamar playing week one. I doubt they trade him because you can't trade a generational receiver like that. Yeah, so I'm going Shit, with T. Higgins. Randy Moss. Jamar on my team, boy. Jamar got two years. I'll That's the crazy that. thing about the holdout. He has two years. Because a lot of those guys are uh, yeah, 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 you're ahead of him. BTG? I'll pay Pat. Jamar. Huh? Pat. Pat. Mahomes? Yes. Okay, All right, Roby, you're on the clock. Let's get to the let's, let's get to the uh, ground pretty quickly. We, 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 we I'm going because I know this is a sleeper pick and no one – 
fuck with the Saints. I'm going to have a Camara as my backup running back. Mm. Yeah, Roby team ass. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Probably definitely doing the target walk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but fuck, I'm next. I didn't even notice shit. Um, I'm not hey, yo, how many rounds are we going, bro? <laughs> you said four. We got like seven players. <laughs> so far, we got one. Um, four rounds so far. Okay. This is the fourth. All right, so I'm going to go a tricky pick and I'm going to make an executive decision. Um, since this is uh, me and Isha's show, I didn't tell y'all that we have veto power where we get to steal one of y'all picks. Um, so I'm about to go home. I'm, I'm taking Justin Jefferson from home. Um, <laughs> 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 Yo, man, that nigga been watching Big Brother. That nigga been top 10. Hey, Big Brother 5. Hey, hey right. really? I fuck with Big Brother. Really? Hey, oh, hey, hey, come on, man. Maybe we gang in the crib. Them niggas will not Every be Every summer, boy, that shit going hey, up. Boy. Boy. All right, I want to make I a couple receivers. A I want to get off the board. Wait, do I have two running backs? No, I don't have a second running back. Yeah, no, nigga, pick a running back, nigga. Even yeah, you looking problems. at shit you don't even have. Oh no, we get three receivers. I'm definitely gonna Please, leave that. Hold on, let's see, let's see. Hey, let's see. Alvin Kamara is crazy. I'm sorry. That's a sleeper pick. Yeah. That's a sleeper. I'm sleeper. I'm sleeper. I had him on my team before. He went crazy, especially if Rattler takes over eventually. He is. He is. That's fair. Because they might be a good team. Because they be they be throwing it to Alvin Kamara too. So I'm fine with that pick. All right. My number two receiver. Because I got another running back that y'all not going to take, though. Hopefully. Oh, I have two receivers. I'm getting a running back? No, I have three. How many seconds does this nigga got, yeah, man? Yeah, man yeah, where the time at? Hold on, y'all. Please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I'm doing the timer, but y'all. Yeah, now you back to the timer. Go this ahead. This means yeah. a lot to me, bro, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So, I'm deciding between George Pickens, Brandon Ayuk. Just um, name your boy. Oh, no. You just pick one, nigga. All right, it's time. Dang it. So, Dang something. <laughs> he started doing that to my time. Yeah. I'm trying to think who y'all niggas went. So you probably still gonna have one of the 15 niggas. 15 seconds. Right. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Tyler, um, Tyler's up. Hey, Tyler, Tyler Algier. I am <laughs> Marvin. Fuck, I was nervous. Um, I'm going Marvin Harrison Jr. All right. Wow, okay. Cool. I think he's going to have an amazing season. Respect. Cool. I like that. Wow. And I think he's going to have an amazing season. Here I really do. Timer is starting. Top of the draft. I got two picks back to back. And somehow, y'all messed up again. Bro, please, no. <laughs> Look at that. Ash, <laughs> Ash, Ash got nine Ash, picks in front Ash, of him. Ash, Ash, please. Ash, no. you like to be worried. Because, of course, like my team name, we got to go to Von H. I got two running backs already in case he do get hurt. But the upside on H in Miami? Man. Oh, he will be listen. He will be my permanent flex for the rest of the year. Uh, Definitely just fuck my phone. Um, timer is starting again. So that, so now we got the timer for the second pick. So now I got a, a couple options because got the wide receiver, three running backs. No, 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 yeah, yeah, three running backs. So I can go QB here, go wide receiver here. Um, I think you should go kicker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. I got it. Mahomes is gone. Lamar has gone. But I think who's going to have the best He's gonna fantasy here? here <laughs> and I'm so glad Stun is not here. <laughs> Josh Allen. <laughs> Fuck! Oh! <laughs> Josh Allen. That was great. Let right the team right. on your back run right. every play. He's going to be a running back play. for real, for real. Allen's biggest hater grabbing Josh Allen is sick. What's the storyline? Oh, Eddie. That's He's brilliant. doing this shit for the media. I'm Listen. telling y'all. It's because this shit's telling like. Comment and subscribe, nigga. I'm telling you, this nigga's doing this shit for clicks. Y'all better fuck with us because this is crazy. If y'all know this, Listen, that these that's five picks, I ain't gonna lie. Um, okay. Out the park. So this is a strategy pick. All right, time to start it. Cause I ain't um, got time for you. <laughs> yeah, let's go. This is a strategy pick, and so so the the question is, do I want to go running back or do I want to go flex? And because I know who my draft opponents are, I'm gonna go flex later. And my second running back is somebody I honestly is surprised y'all have not picked. Um, but <laughs> well, I mean, he's gonna get up his off. 
it's somebody I'm surprised y'all have not picked, and it's because y'all don't watch football for real. Except for y'all niggas don't be locked in for me, and that's why y'all don't know. You get Sunday tickets, but you better So listen, so let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Oh, the pick thing you gotta do. I know I'm getting. So the reason I'm going this is because similar to the San Francisco 49ers and the Atlanta Falcons with Kyle Shanahan, this West Coast offense. You have to have a running back, like it says, that's going to get 15 to 25 carries a game because everything is built off of the play action. And when you go down to the Los Angeles Rams, I was you would have watched I was last season. Bro. Y'all would have known they have a breakout running back that's going to have a 1,200-yard was on my boy. and 10 touchdowns. Was on my Kyron Williams, you are a rock star. He was on my boy. That's a great pick. He was on my board. I definitely didn't think he would go that one. Okay, after that ass pick, it's on me. I ain't gonna lie, I don't think he's gonna be the starter in the video. You see? It's on me. Play Corbin. You see? I don't play Corbin, be honest. I'm just like, what a get, bro. <laughs> no, not because he's bad, but because, like, you know, they're actually putting him on uh, returns now. Did they? Did they get Blake Corum? Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yo. He started that. Like, hey, you know, hey, start that yeah, fucking yeah, time mode. No, start that fucking no, time mode. Listen, it's Ash back. Yo. Pacheco, so, so you gotta keep the nigga saying, y'all don't watch football for real saying, they got Blake Corum. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Let's, let's really have a conversation. I think it started by saying, y'all really watch the football. They got Blake Cora? <laughs> How did we get here? That nigga Daniel ain't turned on his TV in. <laughs> How did we get here, dog? Fuck, y'all. y'all. I messed oh, up, y'all. Man. I can't tell. He said his name. I was like, the pump return? <laughs> so, so back, back, back to the... Uh, I'm going Aaron Jones. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm going Aaron Jones. I'm going. I'm going Aaron Jones. Okay, John. Okay, John. We giving him another chance? No. Oh, no, that's the second. That's the second one. Yeah. I got. I got my pick. Uh, I'm gonna get get my quarterback for y'all ruin my fucking team anymore. Uh, CJ Stroud. You did that yourself, my brother. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Brothers, oh, yeah. brothers, you made the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking CJ Stroud. All right, BTG, let's get through this round. We are running quick on time. This is My bad, gang. This is not, not, it's not on everybody else. It's not, we having a good time. We're doing well. We just got mm. four more rounds in that, about an hour left. Hmm. You can put a right receiver on flex, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going Ayuk. Okay. Ayuk. This guy paid, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's motivated. <clears throat> All right. Barry, you're on the clock, my brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going, uh, since he's going, he's going to give me, uh, give me Debo. Fuck. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Daniel Taylor will be setting up that tribe by the target for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was my flex pick that I was coming back. I didn't think nobody wanted him. Debo's going to be a very important factor to the offense this year. I, I feel like Debo's going to be a lot. Debo got a fall okay. off coming. I don't know. Um, it's next year. It's, 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 this is last year. I believe I have three wide receivers already. So. Yeah, start the, start the time. So right. I'm going to go ahead. And one of them. Actually, you know what? I'm okay with going with another flex. Uh, Give me Mike Evans. Smart man. Oh, what's my phone at this fuck nigga right here? Go! I'm gonna say the girl. Go! Oh my god! Thousand yards. Oh my god! Thousand yards every year. Consistency. 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 That's what I'm saying. Hey. That was him. That's why I hope y'all split. You are on the clock. Hope y'all split with Tampa Bay this year, man. And what's in the split on somebody? They don't. They're the only ones I respect. <laughs> they're the only team in that division I respect right now. I hope they didn't go for three for twenty five. Yeah, bro. Three catches, twenty five. <laughs> that is crazy. That's insane. Nelson. Oh, it's me. Oh, I thought you. I thought you was looking. My fault. Yeah, Nelson is on the clock. Um, last the picks this round have been Josh. I Josh Allen. Aaron Jones or Kyron Williams, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, yeah. CJ Stroud, <laughs> Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, and Mike Evans. I don't know. 20 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, so I'm going I'm to follow, follow Chris Lee. You know what I'm saying? We're going to stick in Tampa with it. We're going to bring in Rashad White, man. Mm. It's, that's a do everything back, workhorse. Boy, dad, my, boy, boy, my boy, get to it. That's a good pick. Yeah, man. Damn. We, we, we watch football for real, man. I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm not a football watcher. Just let y'all let me go ahead and explain my. Now I know this is my team is ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a football. <laughs> I can't wait to post that. <laughs> <laughs> if they do a basketball one, y'all gonna be like, okay, now nah, he definitely the basketball. <laughs> I ain't no, I ain't no football name, but go ahead, go ahead, Ash, you on the time. To defend Robe, he could name you the number one draft pick in 2027. I'm going to set Robe up. We're going to put Scout on the back. I swear. Hey, when we post this, let's just put Scout in his name. Don't say Scout in his name. We just going to put Scout in his name. All right, Ash. I got my next pick. It's my second receiver right here. It's kind of a sleeper pick, in my opinion. Play for the Browns. First round off the board. Big Coop. Yes, sir. Big Coop. Big Coop. Yeah, Mark Coop. Backup pick. I mean, your next pick. Sorry. Backup pick. My next pick. I'm going tight end here. Oh, man. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. La Porta. Sam La Porta. That's going to be mine if someone took Kelsey. That's a good pick. All right. Nelson, you are back on the clock. I'm gonna take a book from, I'm sorry, take a page from Ish's book here, and we're gonna go based off of order. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's gonna be the one and only Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow, okay, okay. Yes, sir. I don't know how he went this low. Little you know, haircut though. You know what I'm saying? We're looking at Slim Shady Chris. Joe Burr, and it's, yeah, man, y- y- y'all, y'all giving this shit to me, man. I don't care. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get a quarterback off the board. It's getting a little, getting a little late, and I figure Kirk. now's as good as time as any. Oh. It is not going to be Kirk Cousins. I try really hard not to have Please. multiple people from the same team on the fantasy team, Please just God. for bye week purposes. Please God, no. um, Please God, no. I am going to go ahead, and I'm going to go with Anthony Richardson. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> It's on me. Yeah. Oh man, I'm trying. To, I'm kind of iffy about this. Torn between two guys, but I think I'm going to go oh. with the. There we go. I'm going viral now. Oh, oh man. Since, since the offense relying on one guy, you got to run the ball to him. Give me James Cook. That's a good okay. He was on my board. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. It's me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He went cook. That's crazy. The niggas uh, crazy, lie. Um, I'm gonna go. Y'all last hope for me not winning. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go Mostert. Mm, that's, that's a great pick. pick. It was split touches, yeah. Yeah. Rove, Rove, you're on the clock. Our scout, as we I, like to call him. Okay. okay. They're they're baiting. Uh, <laughs> uh, shit. Are y'all sure I can't get Aaron Jones first? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you probably can get Come him on, still. Later on. Later on. Later on. Later on. Uh, I'm gonna go. I need a receiver, bro. I need a receiver. Like a I'm gonna go with what Chris said in a rookie. Hmm. Am I? No, I'm going. Uh, I'm not going rookie yet. I'm going Michael Pittman. Mm-hmm. That's a good pick. How do you hate on? How do you hate the Anthony Richardson? Richardson and then, Pitt, and then pick his number one wide receiver. Mm-hmm. All right, I am on the clock. Coming to the Rock Stars. Um, so I know who my quarterback is going to be, and I'm very confident that I'm going to get him because Ish has a quarterback. So I am going to go skill position. And I'm talking like I know who I'm going to get. I don't. So I'm going to go through these players and stall as I look to them. And stall. (laughs) Um, So I have three receivers and two running backs, which means I either need another receiver or a flex. And since Barry took Debo Samuel and ruined my day, I am going to go a flex. See, the flex is an interesting position because I like to get a guy that runs and catches. So that's why I wanted Debo. Um, but I'm not going to be able to do that. He got to be close to that time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do that with these, with these, with this, um, group of receivers. How much time I got left, Roby? 20. 
God damn. All right. Um, so I'm at Nelson Aguilar down here. So clearly I went too far down. I was scrolling for way too long. How far you got to go? That nigga's on page 99. He is on page <laughs> Oh, right. sure looking at a crocking in the McDonald's tomorrow. Five, so, four, I have three, decided two. I am going to go with somebody I really don't want to get because I hate this team more than anything. <laughs> no but this is an about. amazing talent, and I'm going to go Chris Olave. Mm. Mm. Nice. Olave, that's nice. What the fuck throwing him the ball? <laughs> Derek Carr. He's the only receiver on the team, so it's like he's going to get the ball. They got to play. So. Oh, he played for the Saints. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately. So just to uh, go ahead and start my timer because uh, I'm ready. Um, so right now I got Saquon, Reese Hall, and H.A.M. in my backfield. Josh Allen, quarterback. But C.D.'s out there by himself. So right here we're going to listen. I love in top of the draft, bottom drafts because we can double up. If you do your work early, you can do one of them like, like oh, really, pick? And I, listen, actually I don't even got to talk about it no more. Millie Neighbors. I knew you were going to. I knew you were Malik Neighbors, New York Times. The Odell prophecy has been restarted. Another LSU wide receiver. With Are y'all niggas screen recording my phone right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Pigs is just getting took. We, we mentioned so we mentioned how how uh, Justin Jefferson is going to be the whole offense. Boy, J.O. Joe's going to be bad. Did you make a retired uh, jersey number? Unretired, unretired, unretired jersey, jersey number, number, bro. That was crazy. That's crazy. That was crazy. And crazy or coming off of him for that. Um... So and he black, and he black. <laughs> Y'all know how the giant truly about me. He's black. Yeah. Shit, that's crazy. And I'm gonna do it now because uh, I don't want Chris to do it and actually get good value out of him. I'm gonna go Drake London. I knew it. I knew uh, it. Drake London from our wide receiver three. I think he's gonna catch a ton of touchdowns. So to I don't know if he'll catch a bunch of. I don't know if he'll be more of a, like an every down wide receiver, like a number one wide receiver. But I think as your third wide receiver, he's gonna catch ten to twelve touchdowns, maybe. And just with his size, how Kirk Cousins plays, I think this, I think he'll be. And you mean third receiver on your fantasy team? Yeah. Right? yeah. Okay, just making sure. Um, all right, so this is where I go quarterback, um, and I'm going to go the guy that's projected to have the second best year in fantasy. And due to the fact that AJ Brown is around him and Saquon Barkley is around him, what's going to be very valuable is being able to play 11 on 11 football when they send Saquon out of the back backfield and run that draw that North Dakota State kept running on last night. Um, so I am going to go Jalen Hurts as my quarterback um, because rushing and passing matters, and he is the second-best rushing quarterback in football. And since Ash wanted to come in late and steal my quarterback, I guess I got to settle for Jalen. <sighs> Roby, you're on the clock. <laughs> is what it is. Jalen will be in MVP talks this year. Hot take, come fuck with me. I legit, I legit don't know who I want. What I get? I get three receivers, two yeah. running backs. You have, receivers, you have end, I have a flex. flex. I have a flex left to go, a right receiver, and forty-five more seconds. I have a defense. Clock, man. I know. Jamar I Kenneth mean, Walker, right Travis here. Kelsey. Oh, you got your picks. Okay. Yeah, I got my board and my picks. I'm not gonna go my flex. Uh, wide receivers. I was just looking at one. Do I want to go Terry? Terry McLaurin. Sure that's a so nice for the defense. We got our first. Uh, I seen someone up here. I seen someone up here. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're crazy. I can't. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going. Who, someone took Nico Collins, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I took him. Do I want to go Steph or do I want to go Terry? Mm, can't go wrong with you. No, no. You can go wrong with one of them. I was about to say Terry on this yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going Terry. Terry. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to cap. I'm going Terry because I read the write up. He only dropped four passes all last year. I'm finna take him. Terry a dog. I like that because you could have mm-hmm. definitely chose wrong. I'm going to Terry. Stephon Diggs is like, he could crash out. And since I got back to back picks. <laughs> yeah. Saying who, nigga? All right, my fault. What did he get? What did he get? What? BTG, you on the clock. Yo, you just gonna throw that nigga. Since I got back to back. Nigga said, since I got back to back. I know who my flex is, but no, y'all, y'all. I really got all my skill positions down. I got a QB. I need a tight end. The flex can be any position. Damn, what about it? Damn. Oh, neighbors. Uh, she. I don't want to go two Ravens. I got all these folks. Let Justin Jefferson, Garrett Wilson, Derrick Henry, Pat Mahomes, Brandon Ayuk, Raheem Mostert, 
is Jalen's team as of now. Mm. I'm narrating this like a golf announcer now. Right? While, while he's thinking, we'll throw another question out there. Does anybody have it on their heart before? Yes, I, I have my pick, so oh, you ain't got to count no more. Okay, well, okay. we can we can we can talk though. No, nah, we got get. Let's get through this round. We got two rounds after that. After Ash goes double up, we can do a talk. I got because okay. I have the question. I was gonna go Kyle, but I'm gonna go George Kittle. Fuck, Jalen. Fuck. I'm gonna go George Kittle. Fuck, let's go. Oh, yeah. We said a day. Not gonna lie, I took him on my bets. That nigga didn't do shit, man. All right, uh, Barry. <clears throat> Uh, I'm going with, uh, even though, fuck, I'm just going to, uh, give me, hey, where do you go? Give me Mark Andrews. Mm, good tight end, solid. Lot. Made a steal, apparently. He, like, broke his leg. That's an interesting. Yeah, say he got an accident. Didn't that's an interesting that? pick because the Ravens will be running a lot of two tight end formation this year. So I do likely, wonder yeah. how likely it takes away from his, right. um, production. But I don't think more. it's I a think bad pick more. because I think they're going to, be targeting them like number one and number two receivers. So, so a lot of y'all. <laughs> I'm definitely doubling up on somebody on the same <laughs> team. And this is once again me doing the obvious thing. It's time for the prophecy to be fulfilled. <laughs> Kyle Pitts. <laughs> oh brother, you are a South Side rock My star. God, sucker. <laughs> I can't wait for him to be bad again. As long as I don't take my shot. <laughs> listen, Imagine. first Kyle Pitts drop. Oh, my God. Listen, <laughs> listen. Y'all watch them play with the corpse of Matt Ryan and two quarterbacks who aren't even employed right now, I don't think. Bro, I, Desmond Ritter's a DoorDash driver. I'm joking. I'm joking. Kyle Pitts is him. <laughs> Kyle Pitts is him. He just, like you said, he, he was hurt last year. He didn't yeah. even look out in the first four games last year. I'm, um, I'm really excited. Like, I'm excited for Pitts, but I'm glad you got London because I'm more excited for him than anyone else on the team. Sure. I think truthfully. London. Yeah. I think London like, if, I don't think anybody has had it worse than Drake London in the first two years, and he still put up like nine hundred yards. Yeah, he like, a step. like his first yeah. quarter, his first quarterback was he's Marcus Mariota. He's nice. He's gonna be nice. I'm excited. Yeah, like I, if nothing else, like it's gonna be a big year for him. Uh, Nelson is on the clock. All right, man. Well, I'm not gonna lie. What do you got right now? What, 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 Nelson's team right now is AJ Brown, Amarase Brown, DJ Moore. <laughs> Travis Etienne, Rashad Wright, and Joe Beasy. Not scared. <laughs> That's fine. We gonna see, we gonna see you in Ulta. Sure. AJ AJ Brown and Amara and DJ Moore is a crazy three trio. I'm like, I think they roll with this. Hey man, so I ain't gonna lie. I definitely thought I was gonna clean up, and then literally Kittle and fucking Mark Andrews went back to back, and I was definitely. Ash got you wiped out. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was gonna get really. It's still a good tight end out there. Oh, trust me, I know. Um, it, it's gonna, it was gonna get really treacherous, but you know, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm honestly, I was going between my boy who I really, I think is probably top five. Actually, you know, what, I'm just gonna go with him. Give me David Njoku. Yeah, that was, mm-hmm. that's, that's another good one out there. Mm-hmm. I was thinking between him and Kincaid because I trust Josh Allen more than I trust the quarterback room in the Browns, but Njoku is such a fucking dog. I'm trying to throw the he, he, you feel me? So it's like I'm just gonna go with who I, mean, who I think is the best, and and Joku is cooking at the rest of these niggas for sure. Ash, you are on the clock, real C O V shit. Wait back one two five. All right. I spoke about this team earlier after I picked Josh Jacobs. So I'm gonna go and pick a, another person on the same team. And for Green Bay to go on this playoff run that people are talking about. Um, Jordan Love got to have a wide receiver one, don't he? Got to have wide receiver one. And this guy, he coming back off a of, uh, hamstring injury last year, so I Great think pick. it's going to be a little break a year for him right here. Great pick. Give me Christian Watson as Great my pick. third receiver. Uh, Great fucking pick, Ash. I wanted him, but I have too many receivers now. Mm-hmm. Um, I was hoping he fell to the bench because that's a really good-ass pick. All right, Ash, you go, you're on the clock again. And to double back, Houston going to need some – they're going to – we need some help on that running game, so I got Joe Mixon as my uh, flex. Right. Got Joe Mixon as my flex. All right, Nelson, and then we'll take a break. All right. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now this is now this is where you know we get into the nitty gritty. Just want to see like you know what we can rock out with. You know, I'm picking between. That's fifteen. Oh <laughs> no! Yeah, you can use that. You got fifteen? Yeah, fifteen. Yeah. No, fourteen. Oh, oh, fourteen. Okay. Whichever one they switch it. Yeah. You know, I'm picking now for my flex. We're going to see how we rock out here. I'm picking between two two dogs. Honestly, 
I think, you know, we could talk about the emotions and the tantrums or whatever you feel, you know, but at the end of the day, talent is talent. This guy was universally regarded as top five at one point. He's on a team with a lot of weapons now, you know what I'm saying? And people probably pick other guys on this team before him, but I don't care. I think he's severely disrespected. He was traded, and he's a, a, still a dog, and I think he's still going to get his. And he's my fourth fucking receiver on my team. He's, he's like the fifth or sixth round. Give me Stephon Diggs. Bet. All right. Chris. Oh, no. Let me ask a question. Um, we got about, what should I say? We go the other guy I was thinking was George Pickett. About five right to away, seven minutes. I, I like Did you have a question? Okay, bet. So my question is, um, and this came up the other day um, when I was uh, doing something. I forgot what, how this conversation started, honestly. But um, I think if we know who the greatest rappers of all times, but I think if we cut out some of their prime and put in like their pre-prime, and a post prom and mix it with other artists, we can get some fun debate. So my question to the room is, who are you taking from 2003 to 2007, T.I. or Wayne? Wayne. Love T.I. All right, and I'm going to read off the projects oh. between the oh. two, just in case you guys are mixed not familiar. Um, um, yes, music, yeah. music, uh, mixtapes are included. Okay. So for T.I., 2003, trap music, urban legend, the Leak, which is a mixtape, King and T.I. versus T.I.P. Those were his projects. For Wayne, it was the first drought, Prefix, The Carter, Drought 2, Suffix, The Carter 2, Louisiana, um, The Carter 2, Files, Drought 3, and The Leak. Jay-Z, who? <laughs> <laughs> was that three different droughts? <laughs> yes. Hey, give me Wayne. Shout out to T.I. though, man. Yeah. Good dude. Oh, so, yeah. I feel like T.I. more so was like, well, no. In the, oh, let me see, let me see my, let me see my. I feel like Tip was more so just for the South, almost. Like, as far as his name, his popularity. You know, Wayne was almost inner global in a way. And somewhat, somewhat global, if you want to say. Mm-hmm. Not like Tip. Tip wasn't on the map, but I feel like Tip was just more for the South. And represented more of the South and I'm Wayne. Pushback when speaking about Ti, but I don't think Ti had that. Con- I don't think Ti should be in that conversation. I, um, I, I, that's that's a little lame. No, no disrespect to Ti, but like, do I get ATL in the catalog if I pick Ti? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what year ATL? <laughs> <laughs> like, um, I don't know. So yeah, the answer is Lil Wayne, but Ti, I thought Ti had the best, a really good case. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Trap music, King, and Urban Legend. I thought Ti had the best case. Yeah, Ti had the best case. case. Yeah, Ti had the best 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 case. Yeah, Ti had the Mm, I, don't, I, I I think it's Wayne, but oh, okay. as a Ti stand, I think it's closer than y'all think. Um, I think I think it's way closer than y'all think. And like, of course, Wayne is getting into his mixtape like Duffy. So if we're going, I kind of I just feel like once you put it there, it's unfair. Um, I think once you put the mixtapes in, it's unfair. If you go straight, just like commercial albums. Y'all know where I'm going. Listen, <laughs> Y'all know where I'm going. Like straight up albums, but like Wayne is in a spot where like he's feeding the streets for real. So I just think if you if you frame it that way, I think I don't think you can put anybody up there with Wayne at all. Like I think it's a dog walk with anybody. With the commercial albums, um, I'm still going Wayne because I think the Carter 2 is one of the 15, 20 greatest rap albums ever. Um, so I would still go Wayne with the albums, but I do think that makes it more of a conversation. But I wanted everybody to say Wayne, so I added that mixtape. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we do have a couple more minutes before we finish up, but of course, I did want to answer just because yeah, this is podcast. Um, round two, Drake and Kendrick. Do you think it's happening? I really don't think it's happening. Around two? No. I personally haven't believed anything on the internet that hasn't come directly from the, I guess, the camp or source itself. Because it's just everything that's surround me for me personally. Everything surrounding the beef that wasn't the beef is very exhausting to me, bro. Like it's very exhausting. Let, let, now let me say, Drake himself said it's going to be around two. I don't think. Nah, it's going. It's going to be bro outside uh, telling him to come come back out. He's, uh, I think I think Kendrick's ignoring him. I think Kendrick got what he set out to do. Um, I I don't think Dr- Drake is one of them. He one of them petty niggas that's gonna keep going and keep going and keep going. I don't, I think he's gonna diss him for the rest of his life. Um, but as far as a round two, I don't think there's gonna be a round two where it's like we throwing haymakers at each other. I don't think yeah, that's. I'm I think gonna cancel all of that. I think it's Drake. 
Not against Kendrick. I think it's Drake against the labels. I think Drake is tired of like these. I don't. I don't. I don't believe he did it. I'm time. Time. I think. I think Drake is tired of. Okay. I put Migos on. I put Weekend on. I put. He didn't put Migos on. on. Like, every piece is not going to go crazy. <laughs> he didn't put Migos on. <laughs> I think Drake is tired of that, and I think this hundred gigs thing. It might lead to some subscription-based stuff in the future. I don't know if Drake has a catalog for that because Drake's big three is Kanye, is Joe, is Jay-Z. What are those three guys done? They all the independent stuff. Jay-Z had title. Kanye does his own thing with fashion. Joe does his thing with Patreon. He don't, like, no ass, stuff like that. I think Drake is trying to do this independent thing. I just don't think he has a catalog, the finances, and I don't think he has enough people to put on his back where he can go against these labels. I think he's still gonna throw shoves at Kendrick, but that's what Drake does. Like he just he don't let stuff go. Kendrick fights back, he might, but I don't know why. I think it's really Drake against these labels, the music execs and all that kind of stuff. I like what you're saying about the label argument. I like what you're saying. But I absolutely hate what you're saying about Drake giving folks looks. And I think we have I'm gonna have a hot take and niggas can get can be mad, you know what I'm saying? But there's a common thread. Yeah, we like we we're gonna have to go here. So but Drake giving me ghost looks. Drake giving the weekend looks. W- was he giving them looks, or were them niggas already getting looks and Drake got in there? No, no, listen, Drake is Drake, so no matter what, more people are tapping in because it's Drake. <coughs> but Drake also gave Wap Boy JB a look. Where is that nigga now? Drake also gave that fuck nigga Smiley a look. Where is that nigga That now? fuck nigga. Listen, <laughs> that nigga is terrible. Listen, <laughs> listen bro. Crazy smiley. Listen, bro. Crazy smiley. That nigga's ass. Listen, listen, listen. Bro. I love McCombie. Bro, I could go down the list, bro. You can, you can give any nigga a look, but you got to be hot to stay hot. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't think it's on Drake. That's not on Drake, though. That's just, all right, you did what you did, but you got you still got to produce. Drake, for sure. Yeah. Drake does get credit for the weekend, not for the media. No, nah, he don't get credit for the Migos. He, de- he, he definitely gets. Have y'all heard Drake care? No, we all love music, so we not going. I'm just saying because like, I'm like I got cousins up north and stuff like that. When I try to put them on Future and Gucci Man, they wasn't fucking with it. But when you, once you hear a Drake is on the song, they are gonna be like, all right, it's kind of cool. I'm glad you I think you speaking seven. from an Atlanta bias though. Yeah, but, but see, that's the thing about the whole New York thing. How we talked about like Wayne. When you see like. They probably like New York. They probably wasn't. They probably wasn't fucking with Wayne, but they see Wayne with jewels, and they yeah, probably hearing, awesome. and they hearing Wayne like take Gilly Flow, which sounds crazy to me. So I mean, the look helps, but I just think that he. I think he's getting tired. Of it. This is so. This will be my retort to that, and this is always my response when people say Drake put on Atlanta artists. Is you just mentioned New York artists? If people were going to Canada to get these features, I'd agree with you. But Drake literally stole the Atlanta back. Yeah, Drake. Like, Drake know, came to us. Like when you put on Versace. It don't sound like a Drake song. It sound like a Migos yeah, song yeah. Yeah. that Drake is on. With the the Migos. song without Drake is hard, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, and I think um, so. I think Jalen mentioned like he's just gonna like sub him forever. Yeah. I think this is the distinction to why he should not do that because Kendrick is not Meek Mill. Kendrick yeah. not push a T, and Kendrick is not Kanye. I think if he sub him a couple times, I think Kendrick would jump out that window one more time with no cap. I can because. It wasn't just rap beat. He yeah. don't like him. Now he yeah, hate that they, nigga. I think if it is Drake versus the labels, they yeah. picked the perfect guy to put against Drake. Yeah, it's Kendrick. Sure. I, I definitely, but and Drake do not get credit for weekend. Not, not, not at all. all. I don't think he gets credit. I'm just saying he just helps out with the look. Like this is a crazy I, basketball I, reference, but we all know Ray Allen was an all star in Milwaukee yeah. and Seattle. He made that shot with Bron. He like a whole different yeah. person. No, I, so that's why I, I, I just feel cool. like I just feel like the weekend had such a. He had like a cult type following already. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, Tumblr, like the Tumblr folks. Yeah, there. like I think he just I think his I think his fan base was going to propel him regardless. Yeah, I'm not no, I'm not saying Drake. I'm not saying they stars because Drake. I'm just saying the Drake feature helps. That's all yeah. I'm saying. I, so I think Drake is just tired of that of like, hey, I'm putting all these guys from well, because futures on what Epic yeah, or Interscope, yeah. all these other guys are on different labels. If I'm helping different labels get like these top 10, 20 yeah. billboard hits. I need some of this cut. So I think that's what Drake's biggest problem is. And, and lastly, to wrap up before we, because uh, we got to finish up the draft. So why do you think you, why do you think songs not moving? We're 14 songs in. And the last three have not been put on stream yet. And I think those are the best. I agree. Do you I agree. think there's a reason these songs are coming out without permission from the label, getting ripped down, and are still not on stream? Because this is crazy. I just, I just want to talk about this. You remember when Push Ups leaked? And I was like, man. Why is Push Up still not on Apple Music? It's been five days. Have y'all seen the the first Apple Music and the description? That, that's right. We mentioned on the show. When I read, I read that, I was like, a little sassy, right? Mm. 
Nah, it's it's very it's very petty. It don't have an yeah. album. It doesn't have an album cover. No. It don't have. It, they damn near sound unfinished sometimes. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think I think he's going out to labels. Right yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think he's trying. I just think he's trying to get out the deal. Yeah. I think he's. Person as a Drake fan, I think he's not at his best when he's distracted with these beeps. Yeah. Cause like the Meek stuff that last. That's I think the Meek tweets came out in July. He didn't drop music until what the next spring or fall. It was pop music too. It was like one dance and stuff. Yeah. And then looking back. Views wasn't really looked at as like good album she until did. like years later. <laughs> and then when you look at like the pusher stuff, Scorpion. I don't count Scorpion. Like I just I, I just gotta get rid of it. So I think what's push, push made him change how Scorpion was. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I feel. I think that's why those songs aren't hitting though. That's yeah, yeah, so that's my that's my point. I think it's like once maybe once Drake gets over this little cause like he he's not gonna say this summer. Like not like us to still getting bumped. Uh that album's coming. Yeah, uh, then yeah. the future uh, I can't uh another future song that's still bumping. So I think Drake's gonna wait. He might he might give us like an R and B Drake over the winter with this, with this party album coming out, and then he might start back. He might try to take over next summer. So that's what I think he's gonna do. Okay, good little intermission there for hip hop. All right, that was amazing, everybody. Um, Chris, you were on the clock, my brother. Um, I ain't gonna lie, it's getting the the, run, right the running backs are getting kind of thin. And just to be honest, <laughs> I do think Drake is coming back with a part two. But Chris, please keep going. I also think Drake <laughs> have a part two. Uh, running backs getting kind of thin. Um, from what I'm looking at, I feel like the best possible option for me. Roger Stevenson. Not a bad pick for rookie. That wouldn't be a bad pick, but I'm actually going to go ahead and go. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go James Conner. Can someone please draft a trade? For the Cardinals? That's yeah. probably yeah. <laughs> Yes. Oh, <Yeah. laughs> uh, shout out James Conner. No, he can't, right? No, he didn't. He did. Oh, yeah. James Conner. Shazir got paralyzed. On oh, one hand, yeah, one got paralyzed. Yep. Yeah. Shazir got paralyzed. Yeah. Shazier got paralyzed. But yeah, um, oh, well, James Conner's a, a pretty good running back, like pretty pretty serviceable. Not like super elite, but I feel like I feel comfortable having him as like my second running back on the team. And they use him versus they, he catches the ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 that's, that's the viral I'm still mad. I'm still mad. James Conner. Why did I say that like that? I'm sorry. James Conner. <laughs> <laughs> I read a lot of the trade. After, yes, after, yeah, after, yeah, for sure. Yeah. You can th- ask for a trade right now, though, yeah. I'm going to request Gary Wilson. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, Whoever got Aaron Jones, you're going to get a crazy touch from me. <laughs> <laughs> no one got him yet. That's the crazy part. Yeah. Barry, you were on the clock, my brother. Oh. All right, I'm fulfilling the prophecy. b Rev, Eminem. I think he's going to throw for 5,000 yards this year. Hot take, not hot to take. Okay. MVP. Like I said, we playing four, 15. I don't know how many games on the dome. Mm-hmm. Best line. Give me Jared Goff, man. Okay, okay. So, if Jared Goff was the MVP, is he all in? Ooh. He would have to win the Super Bowl. He it sounds win. crazy to say that. But, <laughs> it sounds but insane. Jared Goff is not winning the MVP because they're giving it to one of three people. If Aaron Rodgers has close to a good season, Aaron Rodgers is not going to get it. If Jordan Love has the season people are projecting that he's going to have, he's going to get it. Um, Timestamp. Josh Allen, Joe Burrow. They've been begging to give them an MVP okay. award and then I CJ Stroud. I can see Josh Allen getting MVP. And CJ, CJ Stroud. A petty award those, just because he's doing it by himself. MVP, like, yeah. You have to go crazy. Those are, those are the guys. The NFL is narrative driven. It is prophecy driven. They're going to be like, his games are were indoors. Right. He has all this talent around him. He has a great defense. They're going to figure out a reason not to give it to him. If he go for 5,000 and 48 touchdowns, and that's different. Hot well, take. That would be insane. A running back is winning it. No. no. All, right. all right. So what if Josh gives me? What Time if Josh? Stamp. What, you want, what if Josh? Because no, he, he's known for turnovers. What if Josh gives you? 18 picks. 30? What? <laughs> That sounds like listen. That sounds like a lot. Though. Let's say that's his back. That's his normal. Pick. All right. Let's say let's say Josh gives you thirty five to thirty five passing, 10 tw- twelve rushing. Okay. Oh damn! I'm winning the fantasy league. That's ten picks. <laughs> well, f- Fifteen picks. He's still MVP candidate. Yes. No. Yeah. So to, just to push back. Forty eight record now. Well, 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 listen. That's what I was just saying. Well, what's the record? Is what's going to happen? See, this is why I'm kind of on your side with it. With the chair, especially because I'm a Jerry Ball guy. Top two but seven. the reason I disagree with Daniel's MVPs because I, mean, I don't think the one. Packers will win the game. I was about to ask you, what do you think Jordan's story is? Yeah, like, what is that narrative? I'm the backup. I didn't. This is the 
Yeah, NFL is a story franchise. Bro. The off season, bro. Y'all gotta listen to the stories in the off season. I've been listening to the shit. All all yeah. summer and everything has been Jordan Love and the Packers. People are picking them to go to the Super Bowl. Picking yeah. up people are picking them to win the division. So all he has to come out and do is win twelve games and and live up to the expectations. And people are going to be throwing him in the MVP conversation. I think the Packers are going to have a really good year. I'm having a hard time picking them to win the division because of of uh, the indoor thing for the Detroit. And I just think Detroit has a little bit better team, but. I don't, and if this isn't my MVP pick. Jordan Love is not my MVP pick. Um, my MVP pick, if I had to pick one right now, would probably be uh, Stroud or Mahomes. I think one of them two are probably going to get it. And then I said this year might be the year where receiver gets it with Tyreek because he. I really do think Tyreek is going for twenty for two thousand. So um, this is why I shoot very surveil because fourteen games indoors for the Lions are going to score a ton of points. Mm-hmm. They're going to have a great record. And I think that's the best team in the division. The reason I don't think Jordan Love necessarily may win MVP is because to get MVP, you got to win your division. you got to have a great record. And I don't know if he'll have either of those just because how good that conference is. But Detroit on the other side, with all their games being indoors, and the Bears, like, I love Caleb, but, like, he's still a rookie quarterback. That team has never done anything. Like, if the Bears are mid, the Lions might win 14 games. Like, Very true. Realistic. Very true. But I feel the same way about the Packers. I feel the exact same way about the Packers. If they hit the division yeah. right and they are able to split with the split with the Lions, yeah. beat Bears twice, beat Minnesota twice, they're looking at a 12 to 14 win season, yeah. which is going to put him in the NFP conversation. And again, I think he's nice. I think he's going to go for 35 for 30 to 40 touchdowns and a couple rushing touchdowns. And if he does that, he's going to be in that conversation. I hope you do. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> so. So um so yeah that is that is it but uh BTG you on the clock uh can you read my team out again um Justin Jefferson Garrett Wilson Derrick Henry Mahomes Brandon Ayuk Raheem Moster and George Kittle I'm about to win <laughs> that is a really good team um I think right now the best teams are mine if I have Aaron Jones ish. If I have Aaron Jones. Yeah, we can knock it Barry got a really good team, though. Barry got Christian McCaffrey, Gibbs, Nico Collins, T. Higgins, Debo, and James Cook. That's the most team. I just want to read the people. Saquon, Brees Hall, Josh Allen, A. Chain, Neighbors, CD, and Drake London. That Neighbors pick might come back to bite you. That's the only one for me. How many tight ends do we got? Is there a backup tight end? Uh, mm. No. No, you can put him in this flex, right? Yeah, yes. I already got a flex, though. How many flex you get, too? Um, no, you have three receivers, though. Yeah. Three receivers, two right yeah. Gosh, I might no, have to go. You have, Are we um, doing this? No, nah, oh. defense. Defense is next. Oh. So we're just picking a defense next. So. Uh, I think I'm there. Um, I think I'm there. Hmm, let's see here. I'm going to go save. I'm going to go Niners. I'm going to go Niners, D. Pause. Damn. That's All right. Pick. Bro, uh, I'm torn between... Waiting four weeks for Nick Chubb to come back. <laughs> Off of destroy Black. Off of destroy. That was a bad He's a fiend. It's still, <laughs> He's still squat. It's still Nick Chubb. He's still. Or Keon Coleman. Yeah, don't think Keon Coleman. Like, 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 no, don't think hey, you should do that, Rob, but I love baby. you. Don't pick him. Hasn't looked good so far. I love you, Rob. You shouldn't do that. I don't like wide receivers that slow down to catch the ball. It's just a pet peeve. That shit pisses me off real life. You can jump ball either. That's his bad. I'm still going to another receiver down. While we're waiting, Colin Sexton said he was a top 10 point guard today. Pat Bev said, what did Pat Bev say, bro? What did Pat Bev say, bro? Yo, he said, he said, Pat Bev said, Pat Bev said, he said, see, it's LeBron, it's Kobe, it's always one of them. But Pat Bev, it's no Pat Bev. You know, Drake. Hey, bro, I gotta start talking like that. You know, I was like, you're naming other Pat Bev. What the fuck is Highlight tape overseas? Yeah. Bro, I mean, he's coming off of pin downs, bro. Yeah. He's over there coming off of pin downs like he being, bro. That's just, <laughs> no, he, had, bro. He, had, he has like the Illinois step rate for most points per game. So he can, he can score. Oh, no, he was cold at high school. So he can do something. Barry, we're a long way from you talking about, brother. We're a long way from high school. You know what? Let me get Devontae Smith. Great pick. Great pick. Robin? Yeah, that's lit that he's still there. Chris Bosch is a pick from several. 
<laughs> All right, I'm on the clock. Uh, Rock is going to get a tight end. So who is coming to the Rock Stars? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that nigga losing his mind over here. <laughs> I'm so sad I don't have Aaron Jones. I really going to take a punch in the crib. I love it. I'm watching. <laughs> um, all right. He's still there. So I'm picking between two tight ends. I was um, going to say, you can't pick Aaron Jones. I'm picking, I'm picking between two tight ends. I don't have, I don't have any tight ends. Um, but I really could just wait. It's going to be some left. Hold on. Look at T. That's a good ass point ish. Tyree, Jay. <laughs> You could just go get Aaron Jones anyway. <laughs> like, so we can't pick our bench though, right? We have to fill out the starting slots. No, we're not picking our bench. The bench you can do just do in the regular draft. So the regular draft, these are going to be your first picks. And then after that, you just do the bench. Right? Yeah, I'm going to take one, y'all. <laughs> <Take it. laughs> you laughing. Let's see. Daniel better get Aaron Jones now. Let's see. Aaron Wilson on my team. You know what we just do regular picks. Okay? <laughs> What's oh. the time check on Daniel? Um, all right, so my <laughs> tight end. And this was a this was a difficult pick for me. I'm gonna shut up. Um, I'm gonna get a Brock Bowers. Oh, um, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I knew I knew somebody here was a real nigga and had him on his board. I was like, I was like, I was like, Brock Bowers. He's hurt right now, but I just read that he's not really hurt. He was just a rookie, and they keep him out of practice and be cautious. They don't have no targets over there. But Devontae, Devontae gonna get double, and he's gonna be wild in the middle. And he a who's four a, four tight end. Who's their for? Who's their Aiden McConnell. Aiden uh, uh, Gardner. 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 Oh, Gardner. 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 And I like Gardner. Never mind. Yeah, I like Gardner Minshew as an okay quarterback, yeah. just to throw the ball. Just I'm give him the ball. Oh, they're taking. Oh, they're taking. Sure. And they're just gonna be throwing saying? the ball everywhere. So give me Gardner. Sanders, Gardner. you are. Las Vegas Raiders. All right, issues on the clock. Um, I get to double here. I can kind of finish my team. So first, I'm gonna go tight end. Um, damn, I can't. Brock Bowers. Actually, I'm not picking no tight end. Fuck the biggest where this nigga took my pick. I'm gonna go <laughs> defense first, and just to you know, these will be kind of chill picks since we're picking the defense. But I think this will be the best secondary in the league. I think they also play in a terrible division, filled with the interceptions. Mm-hmm. They play an easy schedule, mm-hmm. and I'm picking the Dirty Birds defense. I knew you was gonna go there. I knew you was gonna go there. I knew you was gonna go there. Fuck you. Fuck you. That's a sleeper pick. I fucking knew. I was going to. All right, yo. Now you get tight end. Y'all cashing the AJ Terrell spots this season, man. It's time. That's funny. <laughs> Listen, Chris, you can know that AJ Terrell stock in minutes. <laughs> Chris was the only nigga watching that championship versus Jamar Chase. Like, you know what? He might be a good corner. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, well, this is a, uh, this is a, uh, well, how much time do I have left? Actually, you got some weeks. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Oh, 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 my God. Yo, you cannot say that. <laughs> 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 I got it. Yeah, Nigga. I didn't mean it like that, y'all. Like, no, yet you. I was just no, saying, I like, got a point so we, we can match like shit. <laughs> so, 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 sorry, mom. So, just a transition. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on and get out of there. Mark's <laughs> constant. Uh, <laughs> I got it. Neighbors, it. Maybe, might, might be, so, I'm going to take some neighbor's insurance. We'll go ahead and tie in later. I don't really need it. We've got the best run back, best policy. And I can't believe this guy is still here. Shout out Nick Saban. Fuck him. Jalen Waddle. I mean, Damn. Jalen Waddle. I, I, I thought we can't pick the bench. No, no, no. He ain't hold on. I ain't know he was injured or not. That's why I ain't know. Hey, if you want to pick a bitch instead of a tight end, if you want to pick pick a bitch player that has a good pick instead of a defense or a tight end and just hope you get a good one, I just I can I can I'll pick a tight end. No, no, I don't care. I think he's good. That's what I'm saying. Because it's CD Lamb. No, he is not good. I I know he's not good. No, I know I got three wide receivers. I am saying that. No, I am saying that if he. One, if y'all wanted, this is the last round. If y'all would just want to fill out y'all team, then how it's going to be better. So if y'all didn't hear me yell, I got Aaron Jones as my last pick, so fuck all these niggas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Rope is on the clock, Rope. Browns, defense. All right. Denzel Ward, Miles Garrett. Shout out D Bell. BTG. Shout out D Bell, dog. Shout out to CO. We got we got two NFL players from Covington and uh, Eric Stokes and D'Anthony Bell. Um, fun fact, real quick. I was scared of D'Anthony Bell when I was ten. Um, he was for good reason. For good reason. reason. That nigga. Nah, bro, was, um, bro was like OD like, athletic, bro. Like, dude, like my dad was like, just, <laughs> he was good at everything. Like, and I was like, I don't give a fuck, father. I am not tackling that nigga, and I didn't play football that entire year because of D'Anthony Bell. Um, don't tell my dad that. Um, yeah. but uh, so you played the turn late, huh? 
Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. What, do you remember when him and D'Angelo were on the I, same I, team I, on the I, Hurricanes? I, him and D'Angelo? <laughs> him and D'Angelo were on the same <laughs> team <laughs> on the Hurricanes, listen. coached by Ricky. Man, what the fuck do you think I'm doing listen, out here, dog? Listen, listen, when we talk about coverage, a lot of niggas don't know what that fire feel like. <laughs> I was playing nose tackle versus that team. <laughs> I'm telling you. Bro. Hey, if you didn't go to Liberty, <laughs> if they didn't go to Liberty, then, you know, you know what I'm saying? Chancellor Gibbs truck me, made me a basketball player. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, 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 man, Dan's little dunking in eighth grade, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about some throw it up. <laughs> bro, I'm 11. <laughs> uh, what else I need, man? What else do I need? Oh, shit. I got a defense. I got a QB. I got a. I got. You need a flex. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Let's see here. I don't really want to get a running back. If if somebody team get hurt hella bad, you might not lose. It's, it's not you might not lose. Not the best, but it's not. You just gotta hope. You just gotta hope. Sheesh. Pretty much. Which is which is I, something I do every season. So at least once. Mm. The worst is when somebody wanted to really, play. Really you don't want to play. You wanted to replace them. Oh, no, oh, bro. <laughs> hmm. All right, Jalen, you have 12 seconds. 12 Jaylen. seconds. While you're thinking about that, let me just put out the atmosphere because this happened live while we were sitting here. So the 100 gigs have been uploaded except for No Face. Does that matter to you? Yes, that's yes. the best song. No, yes. not, not matter. Does that yes. seem a little yes. off? Yes. That the best song. They did not put on DSPs. It's fucking trash. No, there, yeah, there's a there's a reason for that. I don't think it has to do with the best song. I think it has to do with the topic of the song, songs, and the fact that he was screaming at that nigga again and saying we gonna go back again, we gonna spin the block again, nigga got this back yeah. that. I think UMG is trying to stop Drake from that one. I think, like I said, I think you're right. I mean, yeah. they told that nigga to stop, and he dropped the hard part six to mm-hmm. stop and sound defeated because mm-hmm. he don't want to do that shit no more and he has thrown the potential and trying to figure out how we'll, to get, we'll get to this more next week and just to add to my conspiracy theory I don't think he deleted all of this is off his Instagram either I don't think it's a coincidence that he just made a new Instagram I just don't think it's a coincidence there's something going on man tell yeah. you bro alright Jalen who's your pick um I'm gonna go with DeAndre Swift mm, I'm gonna go with DeAndre Swift very good pick uh, I was gonna take Cleveland defense because they, you know, we, weird division. Cause Russ allowed them, so just give me Baltimore defense. Are you motherfucker, Barry? <laughs> <laughs> These niggas looking at my phone, you? stream, stream, oh, podcast, oh, chat, damn, oh, chat, show, show. Hey, stream, uh, man. <laughs> stream life is crazy. Uh, I think the defense is always so, it's always so tough. I just didn't get one. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, we okay with it? Oh, you said I we're said, okay with doing it. Right? Oh. We're not in school. Oh. What, what, what am I going to do to y'all? Like, tell them all right. I'm going to go ahead and pick my backup QB. I'm winning anyway. <laughs> I'm going to Kansas City. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm going to Kansas City. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. 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 The first Caleb to Rome touchdown is gonna break the chat. Hey, he go all, <laughs> hey, all, all, all caps in the chat. I told y'all niggas that's gonna be Chris. I'm telling you. All right, Nelson, last pick. Man, this shit is easy work, man. I'm so glad I'm not picking no weak ass defense, man. Fuck all that. This is different. I'm not. I'm not trying to hear nothing about no Aaron Jones. I'm not trying to hear nothing about no James Conner. We're going to talk about the nigga who's had 1,000 yards every season since he's been in the league right. and an offense with quarterbacks that they may be good, they may be not. Who gives a damn? Give me Najee Harris, man. How did y'all not oh, fuck yeah. this nigga? What, what are we Najee doing? Harris. Only with the Cordell. I think they finna force me to buy the Cordell. No, I just no, think obviously. Najee Harris is slow as fuck. I was going to say, they say Najee Harris is running slow. But when they can't get nothing going, they're going to give the ball to Najee. That's and right. it's on the goal line, he's going to score. He gets 1,000 every single yeah. And he's their starting back. It's it, good to get the it, that's my it's all going to depend on if Arthur Smith decided to use his brain that week, by the way. Yeah, let's <laughs> try. I can't pick no Arthur Smith player. Ash, the last, uh, the last pick of our 2024 League About Nothing fantasy draft. I'm putting Justin Herbert on my bench. Two. Go. All right, for the last pick of this marvelous draft, I got to go with the defense. I'm taking the Jets. Okay, that's valid. I'm taking that's Jets a defense. Pick, that's a great pick. I actually got a Sneaky got a good team. So nobody want Deshaun Watson? Mm-hmm. Just asking. 
Yeah. Um, just asking. I mean, um, we still picking our bench, so you know, never know. He could end up on. I'm surprised on y'all. All right. <laughs> so oh, my team is Tyreek Hill, Jonathan Taylor, Cooper Cup, Marvin Harrison Jr. I'm not gonna read off all these teams. I would sound terrible now. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> thank you, thank you, everybody, for uh, joining. Um, this is this is the chat. Uh, we'll just call it the episode the chat. We're not gonna do that, but um, if. We weren't doing this draft with. Um, so thank you guys for joining us. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, comment. I want to thank each and every one of you for showing up for us. This means a lot to us. Um, we were going to do a top 100, but this was way more fun. Yeah. So um, <laughs> we just did this. Um, if you want to create a Madden League with these teams, when we all get Madden, we can do that as well. That would be fire. Um, but I don't really know if I want this happening. Yeah, I would want to play with Nigga, me with this team? Listen, that's a roster. But, um, yeah, thank y'all. Does anybody have any closing arguments they would like to get off their chest or anything? Um, I have one question I'm asking before we head out. Does anybody have anything on their mind first? All right. One person in their prime, perfect situation, um, perfect coach, offensive coordinator, receiver, core, everything at the peak of their superpowers, Cam Newton or Josh Allen. Who are you going? Everybody knows I'm going with Cam Newton. (laughs) <laughs> Jerry Goff. <laughs> Jerry Goff. <Goss. laughs> Nelson? Come on, man. Come on, man. We're talking about the man straight out of Westlake. I was throwing two. Come on. That was throwing to fat ass Kelvin Benjamin, who was one Popeye's biscuit away. <laughs> Shout out Kelvin Benjamin. No, we're not shouting him out. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Give time stamp the Kelvin Benjamin. <laughs> I was told. I was told on the mic. We got to get Sally him out. It's Give me Cam Newton. Chris, I'm gonna piss a lot of people off. I'm taking Josh Allen. Why? Why? The he took. He just took Caleb Williams <laughs> and with his last pick, and he had a quarterback. The so best hypothetical okay. quarterback of all time, Josh Allen. I don't, I don't have an opinion on this topic. I don't know enough football. I feel like Cam Newton is the right pick. Only because I fuck with that 2015 run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bring that up. And he streamed. He's a good streamer, Jalen. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Cam. I just feel like I, I, I seen it happen. I thought who I, I thought it. was gonna happen. I seen it happen. Who I thought was gonna happen. Nah, I'm gonna go Cam. Uh, Ash. I know he gonna say Cam. Ash is a real nigga. I got Cam Newton, man. Oh. One has an MVP. One's been to the Super Bowl. Come on. Oh. I don't know if I can see Josh Allen get into a Super Bowl, oh. man. Yeah, he, 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 he forgot about this. Hypothetically, he could do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hypothetically. It's yeah. Not a hypothetical situation. But <laughs> I just, like, hypothetically, he's already won three. In the world just, of hypotheticals. I just won. can't see him getting through. Who he has to get through? Uh, Mahomes, an AFC Lamar, Lamar, Lamar Mahomes, Stroud, Joe Ball, CJ Stroud. <laughs> hey, Drake May. <laughs> Oh, Drake May is in that division, right? Yeah. Hey, Josh Allen. Drake May. Hey. It's our time, nigga. Hey. hey. I'll, I'll answer last. Uh, of course, Cam Newton. And my reason is Josh Allen is the worst decision maker I've ever seen. <laughs> well, period. There you have it, folks. Episode 86 is in the books. We will see you next week with 87 and our NFL breakdown. If any of you like to come to that, let me know. Um, and we will be back next week. Again, thank you. If any sponsors watch this, please sponsor us. We're trying to get rich. Salute. <laughs>